Alright, what up, what up? What's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. The bad boy of the dating game. What's good? What's poppin'? Um, so listen. Before I get into anything, make sure you guys get this book. How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day ebook, hard copy, audio book. Make sure you guys get this book. You feel what I'm saying? Go to MrLocario.com. Also get all my other books. 60 Second Game. The Bad Boy Book, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men, um, How to Get Shit Done. I, I've, I've written six books, so get all my books. You feel what I'm saying? Get all of that shit. What's poppin'? Joshua Wooden, 54, Paulos, Kenwood Drive, Quentin for Life One Deep, Ellie George, Darrell, what up? Dante, Miles, what's poppin'? What's going on? What's the deal? Um, you said, do I have a Patreon? Yeah, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. I'm going to put it in the chat. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. So make sure you guys join that Patreon. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys join that shit. Get that shit popping. Also, I have another Patreon too, which is patreon.com slash The Confidence Show. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys check that out. <clears throat> All right, so topic of today. I want to talk about why some guys need to give up on women in dating, okay? Some guys need to give up on women in dating. You understand? So I'm encouraging guys to go MGTOW. I'm encouraging guys to stay in cell and, and black pill. Like, just, just do that. You understand? Some dudes just need to give up. You understand? Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, most people who actually want to, you know, succeed in the game, most people who actually want to make shit happen, um, don't realize that they have to put in work and that they have to actually have a certain mindset to make things happen, right? So unfortunately, there's a lot of guys out there who have low self-esteem and who just want to stay having low self-esteem, right? See, the thing is this, if you have low self-esteem and you actually want to improve, that's one thing, you understand? That's, that's good. Like, I want you to watch my videos, stay on this page, you know, subscribe, all that other stuff, right? But if you're the type of person who has low self-esteem, but you don't want to actually do anything, you just want to sit and complain, you actually just, you know, you don't want to make anything happen, or what's even worse, you're the type of person who has low self-esteem, but thinks they know everything. So I have dudes who come on my page and leave goofy ass comments talking about, yo, but Mr. Lil Cario, what about this? And you know, girls are like that. And you know, you don't understand. I'm like, listen, if you haven't slept with over a hundred women, right? You have no business talking about this and that. You don't know anything. You understand what I'm saying? If you have never juggled multiple women over a long period of time, you need to chill the fuck out and humble yourself and learn shit. So you have those guys who have low self-esteem who think they know shit coming on the page talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to KZAG and 20 what's popping, bro. Like yo, I had a, a dude leave I had a dude leave a comment on uh I did a video the other day where I was talking about when a woman's really feeling you, she's going to basically make it easy for you. You understand? So this dude left a comment. He knows who he is. I'm not going to say his name, but he knows who he is. He left the comment and he basically said, and I, and I deleted the shit because, and this is the thing. If you guys leave comments, that's either, uh, you know, disrespectful or if you leave a comment talking about stupid shit, game goofy shit about the game, I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. This is what I'm saying. If you're not in a position to offer any substance about the game, chill the fuck out. Don't say anything. Just learn. You understand? 
Because dudes be leaving goofy comments and then I have to delete them because I don't want other people seeing the goofy comments and then thinking that the goofy comments is real shit. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want that to happen. Kids like I said, dudes in their 30s only slept with two or three chicks thinking they can rebut. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like niggas, niggas is out here having crazy trouble with, with chicks. I'm going to take calls in a second. Hold on. Dudes be having all this trouble with women and coming on motherfuckers' pages like they know what they're talking about. So this dude left a comment, right, under the video I was talking about how chicks should make it easy for you. Don't really fuck with the women who is on some bullshit, right? So the dude said that I'm not being realistic. He said, I'm not being realistic by saying that there's going to be chicks who's going to actually be feeling you. This is what he said. He said, he said, most of these girls out here, um, they're not going to be wanting to fuck with you like that. So you're going to run into a lot of maybe girls, right? So you got to deal with that. See, this is the thing. You're going to run into a lot of chicks who's not going to be feeling you, but that's not your problem. You understand what I'm saying? That's not your problem. If you think it's unrealistic for you to get with women who's going to be really filling you off the bat, you have low self-esteem. And you should not be talking. You should give up. Do you understand? If you're still on that bullshit, you need to give up. You need to stop fucking with this. Real talk. Real talk. Because he's like, oh, well, that's, that's not realistic that chicks is gonna just wanna fuck with you like that. Really? Really? See, what you guys gotta understand is this. What is reality to you is based off of what you specifically are experiencing, right? So if you're not experiencing women that wanna fuck with you off the jump, that's on you. If you're not experiencing chicks who wanna fuck you the first day that, that you meet, that's on you. If you're not experiencing chicks who want to actually, uh, you know, cooperate with you heavy, that's on you. That's your reality. See, the thing is, I'm trying to teach guys to change that reality, to come into a reality where women are actually treating you like the high value guy. But you got to be the high value guy first. So if you're saying, oh my God, it's not realistic that a chick is going to want to fuck with you like that, that's because... You're experiencing a whole bunch of chicks who ain't really fucking with you like that. And that's your experience because your game is fucking weak. Your game is weak. It's that simple. It's that simple. Your game is fucking weak. And so, dude talking about, oh, well, you're not realistic. Listen, I fucking... Got with a chick who I made my wife, who I've been with for almost 14 years. Niggas on the internet talking about, oh, the red pill, and oh my God, you can't trust these women, and you can't be in a relationship because they're going to hypergamy and all this other shit. But in reality, I have a, a, a woman I've been with for 14 years. Right? Then on top of that, I have another chick who's my girlfriend, who I've been with for four years. So how, how is that realistic? Most people would think that's not realistic. Or you could never have a wife and a girlfriend and they hang out and chill. My wife and girlfriend last week was hanging out, chilling. They went to go get drinks together, right? But to some people, that seems unrealistic. You said, Lucario, you don't see from their point of view, cut them some slack. No, no, I ain't cutting nobody no slack. Nigga, I've been telling these, t telling niggas this shit for 10 years. For 10 years. You understand? And dude still is on some gang goofy shit. You understand? Because they have low self-esteem. So what I'm saying is, is that if you've been getting this game for so long and you're still fucking hard-headed, give the fuck up. Give up. 
please, I'm telling you, please unsubscribe from my videos, bro. I'm telling you, look, if you're the type of person who has low self-esteem, who subscribes to that low self-esteem type of thinking, right? Please unsubscribe to the, to the videos, please. Do not watch my shit. See, this video, this, this channel right here is for dudes who are winners, for dudes who are confident, for dudes who wanna step up their game. Now again, if you have low self-esteem and you actually wanna help yourself and make it happen, this is the channel for you. But if you have low self-esteem, you're talking about, yo, you know, this shit ain't realistic and you know, a woman is never gonna, you know, wanna do this and do that. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, a lot of dudes out here they subscribe to low self-esteem thinking and all this other shit. And, 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 they, and they love to embrace that. This is not the channel for that shit. Okay, Zach, until you say feel the same, you hate buses watching your shit. <laughs> oh, man, not real talk. And, and, and again, if, if you niggas is still on this show receipts bullshit, listen. Niggas who call into the show who say, yo, I'm on the bad boy membership. I've been fucking around and getting this shit popping. That's the fucking receipts. Go on my other channel, my Locario Speaks channel. I have a whole video where I clipped that and nigga called in talking about, yo, I'm fucking with this girl and that girl because I've been fucking with the bad boy membership. That's the only receipts you need, nigga. That's the only receipts you need because it's about you getting shit popping. You feel what I'm saying? So if dudes is on this bullshit, you feel what I mean? And this is what I'm saying, like, motherfuckers, they, 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 they swear they know what's going on, but they don't. And then they get on here and comment, oh, well, you know, that stuff you're saying isn't realistic. Nigga, what are, you, what are you talking about? It's not realistic to you because you have not stepped up your game. You understand? Shout out, shout out to uh, my dude, Alan Roger Curry. Alan Roger Curry has a story of when he was in a supermarket and a chick sucked his dick in the supermarket. You know how unrealistic that sounds to most niggas? When he said that, I, I was like, that's what's up. I already knew that type of shit happens. I've been in those type of situations before. I've been in situations where I meet a chick and in 10 minutes, I'm in a bathroom with her fucking her. You understand what I'm saying? I've been in situations where I meet a chick, only know her for 15 minutes, and I'm fucking this chick. Again, it's not realistic to you because you have low self-esteem. You understand? It's because you haven't experienced it. You feel what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying to, to all you guys out there who continue... See, exactly. This is what I'm talking about. JVSamFitness.com. I'm talking about you need receipts for the Alan Roger Curry story. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Y'all dudes, y'all dudes don't understand this shit. So the thing is, motherfuckers is always on some low self-esteem shit all day. Always on some low self-esteem shit. Like their, their game is, 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 you know, geared toward being on some low self-esteem shit. Because this is what happened. The dude who left the comment, he's like, oh, well, that's it's not realistic to, to expect a woman to be feeling you like that off the bat. Right? Think about that. If you say it's not realistic for a woman to be feeling you off the bat, what does that say about you? If you think it's not realistic for a woman to want to fuck with you off the bat like that, what does that say about you? That means that you don't see yourself as valuable. You don't see yourself as the type of guy women will want like that. You don't see yourself like that. You understand? See, this is the thing. This is the reality of the situation. When you first meet a woman, right? She's, she'll usually be intrigued by something, you know, about something about you. Meaning, she could be physically attracted to you. She could be physically attracted to you. And your personality is, is, is got her thinking about you, whatever. So, her being intrigued will cause her to act a certain way. Meaning, cause her to cooperate. Cause her to, uh, you know, show that interest. Now, again, you have to play the numbers game. Why? Because chicks are fickle. Because like I said on my last show, when I was talking about how, 
You have to be emotionally relevant to a lot of chicks. You have to keep talking to a lot of different women because women fall off quickly at the beginning. But at the beginning, though, she still should be showing you some interest, some level of cooperation. You understand? Oh, my God. We got Costas back in the... See, Costas. This is what I'm talking about. Costas, how long you been watching this channel and you still coming with that nonsense? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You said... Mr. Gardner, you say confidence comes from yourself, but you contradict yourself because you slept with over 100 women. So you need to sleep with lots of women uh, to gain confidence and to gain confidence and makes you a man. Costas, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You do not have to sleep with lots of women to gain confidence. This is what I'm talking about. Who said you need to sleep with hundreds of women to gain confidence? This is what I'm talking about. Dudes dudes really don't understand the game. You feel know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. A lot of cats be on that game goofy shit. Costas, how long have you been watching these fucking videos? You understand? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> these dudes, these. this is what I'm saying. When I say dudes need to just give up and call it a day... Just give up and call it a day because what you got... Look, I'm, I'm going to tell you something really, 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 really uh, uh, true right now. And, and, and this might sound harsh. <laughs> but most of y'all are not going to make it. Most of y'all who have that attitude and that thought process, you're not going to get women. You're not going to get women, period. It's not going to happen. You feel what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. Because y'all have this mindset where everything is negative. Y'all can't fucking see a way where y'all can make shit happen. It's like, oh, well, this ain't realistic. This can't happen. Oh, this is why I listen to this. Because I, I be having people hitting me up talking about, yo, this other guy said this. I don't give a fuck about what this other guy said. You understand? Matter of fact, you got you got other motherfuckers out here who who's on some game goofy shit too that y'all be looking at. This niggas on YouTube right now fucking stealing my fucking shit word for word. You understand? Stealing my shit word for word. And then y'all listen to them niggas talking about well they said this, or they said this about you, but they taking my shit. How the fuck that work? How the fuck does that work? Niggas out here listening to my sons and shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, this is some bullshit. Like, like, and this is what I'm saying. Y'all guys, I'm truthfully, and I, and I say this out of love. If you do not get it together, you're not going to make shit happen with these women. I'm sorry. Because, I'm going to answer calls in a minute. Because the baseline minimum, the minimum for you to really be getting shit popping with these women, right? Is that at minimum... You got to believe it can happen, at minimum. So you can't have this mindset, well, you know, uh, it's unrealistic that a chick is going to want to, you know, because the dudes are talking about, well, you got to mess with the girls who are, are maybe girls, the girls in the middle. The girls in the middle, like these middle range girls, you got to, because because dudes will say, well, the game is about you trying to get the girls who really don't like you to like you. No, it's not. First of all, a woman who don't like you, there's nothing you can do to make that shit happen. A woman who's in the middle, you have to have seduction skills. You understand? You have to have seduction skills. Right? And most dudes don't got seduction skills. And in most situations, right, most of these chicks are time wasters anyway. So what I'm trying to teach you guys is I'm trying to get you guys to the level where... You're stepping up your shit so that when you step up your shit, you understand what I'm saying? Then what happens is, is that you become more of an attractive guy. And then because when you, because you're more, an, because you are a more attractive guy, women are more susceptible to you when you go out there doing your shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, 
Dudes just out here, they don't understand this game, man. They do not understand this game. Shit is crazy, bro. I'm like, my God. Like, dude, look. I remember when I was in college, I took a Spanish course, right? I had to take Spanish. So the first day I was in Spanish class, the professor was just talking a bunch of Spanish. So I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You feel what I'm saying? And the thing is, the reason why he was talking Spanish was because he wanted to immerse me in the Spanish from the jump, right? And then bring me up to the level of speaking that Spanish. So this is what I do when I'm teaching guys the game. I'm not going to go down and stoop to some insecure level where you're at. No, I'm, I'm bringing you up, nigga. I'm not trying to fucking be on some low self-esteem, insecure, bullshit-ass fucking uh, type of game. Niggas out here talking about, well, you know, the girl, she didn't call me, so I'm going to wait like two days or three days, and I'm going to call her back, and then I'm going to pretend to be high value, and then I'm going to act like I don't like her, and then I'm going to sit back and do this, and then, you know, make sure that I that I try to shit test the girl, and then do this, and, and you know, like, no, nigga, like, a lot of, a lot of y'all dudes don't understand, man. This shit starts from you. This is why I say the truth is inside you. It starts from you. So... You got a lot of dudes out here who their self-esteem is so low and they're not going to get to that next level because they're in their own way. I'm like, how the fuck are you going to talk about, yo, what you're saying isn't realistic? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? You're trying to... T a, a, a chick not liking you when she first meets you is not realistic? You trying to tell me that doesn't happen on a consistent basis? You're not going out there talking to women? What is wrong with you where uh, uh, you can't get chicks to fuck with you like that? Again, it's low self-esteem because only a person with low self-esteem would even say something like that. When you're living in lack, that's the type of shit you talk about. Because if it could happen or if it was happening to you, you wouldn't be talking that shit. You wouldn't be talking that shit. You feel what I'm saying? This is why I'm telling dudes. I'm telling you. Some of y'all just need to call it a day. Y'all just need to call it a day. You feel what I'm saying? Give up. Go MGTOW. Please, I'm telling you. Go MGTOW. That is your best fucking bet. I'm telling you. Because you're not going to survive in this game. There's too many game goofy dudes. Let me tell you something. When I when I when me and Miles was out there in 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 uh Vegas, we were shooting the Gang Kings, right? So this is my first time meeting Rosebud, right? Now Rosebud didn't really shout out to Rosebud. Rosebud is is so thorough. Rosebud he was looking at me and fucking um Miles like we was on some Gang Goofy shit because he wasn't too familiar with my work at the time. I don't think and. Since there's so many game goofy niggas out here, he thought we was game goofy. So he had to test us to make sure we wasn't on some game goofy shit. And now I understand why. Because there's a lot of ga game goofy niggas out here. There's a lot of game goofy niggas out here. It's, un it's unfortunate. There's a lot of dudes out here uh, trying to be dating coaches that don't know shit about this game. Truthfully. You understand what I'm saying? It's sad. Like shout out to uh shout out to my dude O'Shea Du Jackson. Shout out to O'Shea. He did a show the other day where he was talking about can anyone be a dating coach in 2019? This is where it's gotten where dudes out here think that they could just be a dating coach. They can't. You understand what I'm saying? I mean they could try, but they ain't really they don't really got the the the, the stomach for this shit. They don't really know what they're doing. They don't really know what they're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Cause you said you say that women want a man who sleeps with a lot of women. Then you then would it mean women hate virgins? Why did you place me time? I wasn't placing him time. That was probably K Zagging because he was he was talking all that shit. But this you're talking about the video. I did a video. I'm uh what time is it? I'm gonna take calls in the next five minutes. I did a video the other day where I was saying that a woman. Uh, if you have sex with a lot of women, 
that's going to make more women want you, right? That has nothing to do with you being confident. You feel what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with you being confident. You could be sleeping with zero women and be confident as fuck. Women aren't supposed to make you confident. I don't care if you're sleeping with 100 girls or zero girls. You should be confident, period. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> he said MGTOW dating coaches. Exactly. <laughs> you got these MGTOW dating coaches out here stealing my shit. They know who they are. I ain't going to say no names. Out here stealing my shit word for word. Going to diss me talking about, oh, you dating coaches suck. And Miss Locari, you're talking all that bullshit. Then you fucking take my shit and then say the same shit I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. Like, there's some bullshit, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, they still in ARC stuff, too. That's what I'm saying. Because dudes out here don't have no fucking game. Out here stealing my shit, talking about is they shit. And then these the niggas y'all listen to coming back to me talking about, yo, well, this guy said, fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. It's too many game goofy dudes out here listening to that shit all over the place and then wonder why they have trouble in the game. Wonder why. You understand? These niggas need to give up. <laughs> Just give up. Just call it a day. Go MGTOW, go in the incel shit, be a TFL or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because some dudes, they, they not ready for this game, man. But let me let me take some of these calls. Let me take some of these calls. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Hey, what's up? What's up? It's Jake from London. What's going on? What's popping, bro? What's good, man? Yeah, I was just listening to you talk and uh, talking about... I watched some of your videos today as well, but I was just listening to you talk and um, why... You know, you're talking about why some of the people here have a negative mindset mm. and why, why they don't believe that, you know, so-and-so-and-so and so can uh, work to get girls. But the thing is, I, under I realized that a lot of these guys is that they, they live... They, to begin with, they have a negative mindset. Right. So, so they're now they're switching to getting girls, but they're bringing that negative mindset. So they're probably talking to their girlfriend or friend, or oh, I, I watch Lucario's channel, etc., etc. Uh, this works and this works, and then they're probably saying, no, 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 no. This guy said this. This guy said this. Mm. But a lot of these people on YouTube, with other coaches, they've just come around. Maybe 2017, they're talking garbage. Like, don't validate a girl on the day you don't go for the kiss on the first date mm. you wait like five weeks and text a girl it's nonsense because cause, cause even before I, I I mean I've watched the first time I saw your video I was probably about 14 years old I'm 23 years old right now right so I but when I was 14 I, I, I wasn't getting like uh, girls were just coming to me mm. I wasn't really putting no work right you know what I'm saying like, like it was mainly just I'm young you know the, the, uh, this many looks and then when you when I get older when I got older I realized wait a minute like like these girls are not coming to me then mm. one day I went out and I started to I saw my, my brother uh, cold approaching and then I, and then he's like telling me to call the person I started cold and approaching mm. and that's when I actually started to get things happening you know what I mean that's when I even that the energy from me doing that translated even right. on the tinder so now I'm getting back into the groove of things so I think a lot of it is the mindset and believe in yourself. A lot of these guys, they're very, they just want things on a silver platter. Mm. They want, want it, like, on a silver platter. They don't want to actually go out by themselves. They, they, they have to uh, have some sort of reinforcement, like this guy on YouTube, Alpha Law Strategy. Like, a lot of the things he said is nonsense. And I think a lot of these people, even in this live stream, they're listening to someone like that and other nonsense people, and they're coming to you and they're saying, ah, oh, no, nah, you're, you're talking a whole lot of bollocks because you're saying, ah, oh, you shouldn't, you're saying kiss on the first date. I, I, I know you're supposed to kiss on the first date, but a lot of these idiots in this comment section, they're talking nonsense because they don't know nothing. Mm. And this is a sad reality. And, and that, that negative mindset, that translates into everything in life. If, you, if you're negative with girls, you're not gonna, you're gonna be negative with everything. It's like, mm. it's like if you go for a job interview, you, you, you have a good CV, you know what I mean? But you have to actually go to the interview and you have to actually talk to the employer. Then you have to have a trial date. 
so you so, so the CV can look good, it can have all sorts of good stuff on it, but at the end of the day, you have to actually go there and see them face to face and mm. put in the work. Right. And these people are, are just not willing to put in any work, and it's just nonsense. Mm. Honestly, man. Nah, real talk, man. That's what it is, bro. It's like a lot of these dudes, you know, they um, you know, unfortunately, they they don't actually go out there and do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like they, like you said, you said, look, I'm you was going out and making shit happen. You feel what I mean? And yeah. so a lot of these dudes, they don't go out. They just watch videos. They just look at shit and then they think they know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? And and a lot of yeah. times what happens is this: is that in order for a, a, a person to to actually improve and make stuff happen, they actually have to go out there and put in work. So once you put in work, you start to see and realize where you're at. And then you see and realize where you need to improve. And so once you start doing your stuff and you actually take it seriously, then you start see you'll start to improve, you start to see shit happen. You see what I mean? And so when when, when people like yourself or even have other people call in they say, yo, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, shit has been popping off. That's the that's all it's about. All that other shit on YouTube where all these people out here, you know, just, you know, making a whole bunch of videos about just nothing and just trying to, you know, get views or whatever. You understand? It's not really about that. It's about the work. It's about the information. It's about the game. You see what I'm saying? And that, that's the most important part about this whole shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And one, one other thing I, I noticed about you is that you talk a lot about energy. Mm. Like, you're very, like, I don't know, would you say you're a very spiritual person? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Oh. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm definitely on some spiritual shit. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. You still there? Hello, hello? Oh, I think he cutting out. I think he cutting out. Well, I think hello? He, oh, I think he cut out. I, I think I cut, cut him off by mistake. I think he cut off by mistake. Hold on. Hold on, what's up? Where's some of this shit? Where's the number at, man? Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yo, it's Zach Ricardo. What's good? What's going on? Yo, man, I just really want to thank you, bro, because, like, my whole life, I've been wildin' in self-pity and just always complaining about my looks and shit. But, mm. like, one day I was looking at your video, I was just like, you know what? I don't even care if I get rejected, bro. Like, mm. I'm gonna just go out by myself and just start talking to chicks. And I'm still getting rejected, but it's the fact that I'm not, I'm not having that victim's mentality anymore, you know what I'm saying? I just hate that. Like like my man was saying, um, the last caller, you got a lot of you got a lot of cats who want to mm. listen to AMS and fucking here to succeed and shit. Mm. Always talk about looks matter and shit. Like y'all just sound like a bunch of victims. Right. Well, yeah, well, like let's them. let's not hold on. Let's not yeah. let's not talk about other other uh, people because I don't want people coming back and forth saying you know what I'm saying. Nah, let's just talk nah, about the I'm actual saying, I'm saying, I'm game. Saying, you know what I'm saying? I say that with the utmost respect because I look up to those cats. But mm. what I'm saying is. You're just trying to emphasize to all of your subscribers and people, people that look up to you, like, yo, like, don't wild me so pretty, like, well, I was just making that shit happen. I respect that, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? Nah, real talk, man. It's all so about surviving, bro. I just want to thank you guys. You know? Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the call, bro. All right? I'm out of All right, bro. Peace. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me try fucking, uh, Miles is trying to call in. Hold on. Let me see if we can get Miles. Like, he's trying to call in and shit. Hold on, let me see. Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, what's going on, bro? Oh shit, it's Miles Cunningham in the building. What's good, bro? I'm chilling. <laughs> Yo, I, I hear you on the fucking live stream sounding like me. <laughs> <laughs> For real, right? Oh shit, man. So yeah, you, you, you know what it is? You got, we got a lot of niggas. Like, all right, you ever, you ever seen? You, you ever like? They're like a kid in, in high school, and they try out for football because their dad told them to. Right, right. But they don't even they don't they couldn't even catch a round ball, much less something that looked like a football. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because they're not they're not built for it, and they're not really interested in it. Mm -hmm. and like, like I I, I I honestly believe that there's a lot of cats out here that they they say or they feel like they want to get with chicks. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they feel like they're supposed to be doing, based right. on what other niggas is doing. Mm -hmm. But 
what's what's real is that they rather talk about it than actually do it. Right, you right. Know what I'm mm-hmm. They would rather hang around and discuss female nature and discuss, you know, the dynamics of, you know, females and why they don't like you and all of these things. And it's like, yo, instead of doing all of that, if it was really about getting with chicks, you would just be out there trying to get with chicks. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, like hollering at females back to back to back and, and learn, because the thing was, certain things in life, you can't, there's no book that's really going to help you. You have mm-hmm. to learn as you go. Even right. After you, even if you read a book, you still have to learn as you go. Know. Mm-hmm. There's what's in the book, which is general knowledge, but then there's there's, there's applied knowledge that that happens during the experience of whatever it, whatever it is you're trying to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And a lot of these cats, they're not they're not really they're not really, they're not built for football. They're not built for fucking with chicks. Mm-hmm. You understand? They're not built for it. They're, you know, they're not built to to actually be men. Mm-hmm. Right? They're they just they're here. To fucking wait until a chick is done fucking and sucking, having kids, and who finally gives them quote unquote choosing signals, right. and they say, "Oh, okay, I'll marry you." You know, <laughs> if, if if that's what you want, mm-hmm. because they're not built to even discover what they what they want. They're right. not built to to actually say, "Yo, this is what I want," mm-hmm. and I'm going out there to get it, and I don't give a fuck what the fuck happens. Mm-hmm. Right? That that's that's what it is. It's, it's like like, you, you, you know what I noticed about this world, too? You ever noticed? Like, you know, you know, being from New York, you take the subway, right? Right. And and you and when you're exiting, exi- exiting or entering the subway, there's a whole row of double doors. A whole row. Like, mm. this fucking eight to ten doors, mm. right? But the first person on the line opens this one door, and everybody waits. To walk through that one fucking door, right? And the line is down the fucking block. Do mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying? Right. Now, now I'm the type of nigga. As I walk up towards towards the station, I take a look at what's going on, and I walk directly to a closed door, mm. and I open it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because everything I do in my life has a purpose to it. Mm. It has a truth to it. Why? Mm. Because it's what I chose. Right. You understand me? There's a lot of fucking people. I see it when I'm driving. I see it on the internet. And I see it with these fuck boys that you're talking about. Mm. They're doing things with no real purpose. Right? They know They know that they can get some type of money or some type of views. Or they can get a couple of guys to actually listen to them. Because... A lot of these people want to be just let's be real. They're starving for attention just like these hoes. Right, right. That's what's really going on. So they get on a fucking YouTube, and if they can talk about something that niggas can relate to, like the fact that they just got rejected and chicks got problems and female nature is fucked up, mm-hmm. they could get a couple of guys to listen to them. Right. That makes them feel better. Mm-hmm. All they are is a bunch of fucking sad, lonely, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> Single raised mother, single mother raised fuck niggas. Like right. straight up, straight up. And I'm not even saying that to be mean. Like I'm really, like I'm really, I'm really being real. Like this is what these niggas really are, mm-hmm. right? And they, and they don't, and they don't understand that there's a certain level of confidence that you have to build. Mm-hmm. Like, and sometimes it takes pain. It takes pain. Like it's it, it might. A couple of niggas listening, it might take them, it might take for them to hear me say this about them, mm. and then they might make a change. Exactly, you know exactly, some exactly. Because a lot of niggas would be like, damn, mom, yo, you going in, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, niggas, some of this shit niggas need to hear, bro. Mm-hmm. Some of this, because they might hear me say, yo, all you want to do is talk about female nature, not because you're trying to understand it, but because you want... You, you're starving for attention and you want other bitch ass niggas to listen because mm-hmm. misery love company. Right. That's the truth. Right. And it takes, it takes for a nigga to hear that shit for them to say to themselves, damn, this nigga's right. Let me get off this fucking YouTube shit and actually go do stuff with my life that I really want to do. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Let me, let me stop, let me stop stealing, stealing these real niggas games like Lepari and like Eddie Pugh. And, and for these other niggas, let me stop doing this bullshit and actually go do what I was meant to do in this life. Exactly, let me, exactly. Let, let, me stop, let me stop standing on that long line at the subway and 
hallway waiting to walk through the door. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, and it's funny, that's why, and that, just like you were saying, it's like sometimes it takes for you to say this certain thing for niggas to wake up. That's why I'm telling niggas, I'm like, yo, some of y'all need to give up. You feel what I'm saying? Some of y'all need to stop. Because the thing is, is that once you realize, see, this is what happens with most dudes, right? It's almost like, you know when you're in school and you don't do your work? What happens? You get left back. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And so what's going to happen is a lot of these dudes, they're going to listen to all this go- game goofy shit. They're going to try this game goofy shit. This shit ain't going to work. And then they're going to have to come back to me. So what I'm saying is, right. listen, listen to the real shit first and do the real shit. Step up your game for real so you don't get left back. Because the thing is, if you right. want to deal with girls, if you want to get interact with women, right? What's going to happen is, is that um, the women they're, the women aren't going to change. They're, they're going to be the same how they're going to be the same. So you're still going to have to learn what you need to learn. Two, right. it's actually harder now in a lot of cases to interact with women, right? Because of shit like feminism and all that other stuff where women are less, they're, they're, they're a little bit more, uh, they're a little bit less cooperative than, than usual. You feel what I'm saying? So it's almost like, you got to be extremely masculine, you understand, in a lot of cases, to get a chick to really fall in line. So if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, or if you're all over the place, or if you're an insecure dude, you're done right. when it comes to these chicks. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Because dudes who actually know the game, you understand what I'm saying, still have to go through all of this shit. But since they know it, they know how to navigate it better. So if you don't know the game, right. and if you're on some other shit, it's going to be even harder for you. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. That's crazy. Exactly. But let me and, and and another thing too is man, like you said, all the shit leads back to you. Like it, it, it's like that shit in um in um in fucking Avengers Endgame. Right. When he was like, where where Thanos was like, you know, you all your efforts, all of your shit, everything you've done, and and everything still leads you back to me. Exactly. You know exactly. Like that that that's the way. That's some real shit. Like, when he said that shit in the movie, I was like, oh, this nigga's the best. <laughs> this nigga. It's like, honestly, it's like Thanos is the only real nigga. Like, let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and see, that's what, that's what happened. And I, I took, yo, remember I told you this from a long, long time ago, bro. Mm-hmm. Your, the real, the, the, the realness that you bring and the nigga that you are mm-hmm. and the fact that you actually believe in yourself and you don't, you don't, Son, how many times have I have I tried to suggest to you different ways for us to like, you know, either have better numbers or mm-hmm. promote certain things for us to like, you know, position ourselves to, to, to get an advantage on this internet shit? And how many times have you told me, nah, let's not do that because, right. you know, it's not authentic or I don't really want that to pop in that way right and that's what and that's what i'm saying like because see this is the thing this is the thing we we we, what 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 me and miles have done over the years is we 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 keep we keep this shit about the shit about the game because this is what we want to happen this is this and this is what you want to happen in your in your situation is that you want to this is the thing you want to be the type of guy who starts to realize that the things that you acquire and then the successes you have and all of that is coming from you stepping up your shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Comes from you being authentic with yourself and stepping up your shit. Because unfortunately, a lot of the game that you see on the internet, you know, it has a lot of, of shit where you're making moves that continue to, to, to harp on your insecurity. You understand what I'm saying? Right. It harps right. on your fucking insecurity. And I try to tell you guys, this is why I tell you guys, you know, when you're sitting there saying, oh, well, this girl didn't call me, so I'm going to wait, like, another week to call her back, that's that's making you insecure. You understand? Because now you're trying to you're trying to live up to her expectation to get her to like you. You feel what I'm saying? Instead of you saying, fuck that bitch, I understand who the fuck I am. If a chick ain't really doing what I'm trying to do, then fuck that chick. I'm doing my thing. You see what I'm saying? And I'm only fucking with the chicks who recognize who are smart enough and who are real enough to recognize the type of nigga I am. And if she don't recognize that, fuck her. You feel what I'm saying? Instead of you sitting here talking about, well, I'm going to not do this or I'm going to fucking, you know, uh, uh, act this way. I'm going to wait for three days to call her. I'm going to pretend I don't like her. You're doing all of this bullshit. you faking the funk. You ain't being real. You understand what I'm saying? You want some lame shit trying to follow after a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? 
is crazy. I'm like, man, man. Like, these dudes, I, I'm like, yo, y'all got to wake up, man. Y'all got to wake up. You feel what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, if you don't wake up, if you don't realize what you need to do, you're going to be stuck in the same place, and it's going to be even more difficult for you. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It's crazy, right. man. Look, look, man, don't... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't let, don't let you now you know you know you know what it is man, no man, no man. let me tell you let me tell you real quick let me tell you, and, and this is what i want you guys to understand if i didn't care i wouldn't even be saying none of this shit you feel what i'm saying exactly. i would just exactly. let niggas i would let niggas exactly. fall off the cliff i would let niggas just exactly. listen to the bullshit and fall off the cliff and just laugh to myself you feel what i'm saying because this is the thing like like <laughs> like the dudes who get it they actually succeed, and when I, when when they succeed, I get so happy when dudes hit me up. You're like, yo, this has been working. I've been trying this. It's been happening. I love that shit, and I want more of that for, for, for guys out there. But the thing is, a right. lot of you guys get in your own way because you don't fucking believe in yourself. This is why I keep trying to tell you guys that the truth is inside you. This is why I tell you guys, yo, you have to value yourself. This is why I tell you guys that confidence is important. When you listen to the motherfuckers talking about, yo, confidence is bullshit. How the fuck you gonna listen to somebody talking about confidence is bullshit? You feel what I'm saying? What? Like, how do you do that? How? Like, that shit is crazy. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, so it's like, how you, you gonna say confidence is bullshit, but then get mad when a chick don't wanna fuck with you. But chicks mm -hmm. like niggas who are confident. So how the fuck you getting mad at a chick don't wanna fuck with you when you think confidence is bullshit? She don't think confidence is bullshit. She don't think confidence is bullshit. So when you ain't getting that chick, don't get mad. That's on you. That's on you for not really understanding this game. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. It's fucking crazy, listen, man. Listen, what, what what I was saying, what I was what I was um getting around to before, mm. um, like like I want I want everybody listening to to understand something. I've been places with this nigga Lucario mm -hmm. where we was all just chilling with friends mm -hmm. for a while, and we was having a good time. Everything was cool. Mm -hmm. And then Lucario's like, yo, yeah, I'm about to get out of here. And I'm like, what's the matter, dog? Mm -hmm. you, you ain't having a good time? You, you, ain't, you know, you ain't chill. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, but I need, to, I, need to, I need to fuck with some bitches. Like, I need mm -hmm. to see some bitches, bro. <laughs> and I was like, word? And he's like, yeah, I got to go. I got to go. I gotta, I'm about to meet some chicks. And the reason, why I, the reason why I bring this up is because I need y'all to understand that Lucario is not, he's not a dating coach. Mm -hmm. You're not even really a dating coach, and you're not even a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. You're actually giving, you're actually uh, fucking, you're giving niggas a courtesy. Mm -hmm. You're talking to a guy who can't go too long without being with bitches, bro. <laughs> like, you know, no, I need niggas to hear this. I need niggas to understand who you are, bro. Like, and, and how real it is. So when we say the truth is inside you, the fact that Lucario has a wife and he has a girlfriend is not because he's trying to impress y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. the, the, the fact that he does this this whole dating coach shit, you know, and, and, he's, and he's putting the game out there, is not because he's trying to impress y'all. Mm -hmm. It's because he's trying to help y'all. Mm -hmm. Because Why? Because he started out as a dude that has a genuine interest in fucking with women, mm -hmm. bro. Right. Like a real, a, like when we say the truth is inside you, like the truth is inside him that he needs to be around female energy mm. you know for a certain amount of time mm. or, or or within a certain amount of time you understand like i've literally seen lucario like mm. yo i can't you know, i need to you know we've been chilling all day and that's cool but i need to go find me some bitches to holler at to, mm. with, to, to mm. converse with to interact with yeah you guys are talking to a guy that if that's what his truth is that's mm. what he's about it's not a it's not and 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 and, and, I'm, and I've never seen like let me ask you a question. Did your dad ever really put you on the game? Who my pops? Yeah. Nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Yes. Exactly. But listen to really. what I'm saying. His pops his pops is the type of nigga that always had bitches too. Mm -hmm. But his pops never really sat him down and right. said, Yo, this is what it is and blah blah blah. It's just it you're talking to a cat that it's in him. Mm -hmm. It's in him. This none of this is a game. None of this is a gimmick. None of this is a farce. We decided to monetize it because, mm. in the, in the, in the in the words of the great, you know, Birdman from Cash Money Records, "Get it how you live." Exactly. So I Facts. Said to the nigga, 
if this is how you gonna live, where you fuck with bitches all the time, and there's a lot of niggas out here that need that want to know how to fuck with bitches. Mm. So I think we should do this shit. And he agreed, and we went and we went ahead and started this company. Right. But yeah, yeah, I'm really trying to let y'all know that this is not no. Oh well, I see a lot of cats on here being dating coaches, so I'm gonna do it too. Like, right. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. Right. Right. That's see, that's you're that's talking, what I'm. You're talking to a you're talking to a man where his truth mm. is dealing with broad. Right. Period. That's what I, and this is what I'm saying. Like, yo, it's been so much fucking, and, and this is why I get so frustrated sometimes because I'm trying to tell you guys that if you're doing this, you feel what I'm saying? Be about doing it. You feel what I mean? And 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 don't pussyfoot around this shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like if somebody, it's like if somebody is a personal trainer and they're into fitness, right? And you go to them and you want to learn some personal training shit. If you ain't really down to do no personal training, if you ain't really down to hit the gym, if you ain't really down to eat right, if you ain't really down to do the shit, don't fuck with it. And this is why I'm saying dudes need to give up if they ain't really trying to fuck with it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. There's no reason why a motherfucker should come on a dude's channel talking about, oh, well, you know, this game shit is stupid and why, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, why are you here, though? You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah, yeah, for real. All of y'all, all of y'all, all of y'all, all of y'all niggas talking shit, just, just chill out. And wish to get wiped up by a single parent mother. Right, like, right. That's what I'm let saying. It go. That's, what, let it go. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let so that's go. what I'm like, yo, if dudes is on some bullshit, you gotta and this is why I say give up. The reason why I'm saying give up is because or, or stop fucking with it is because one, it's gonna free you so you don't have to be dealing with the shit. And two, what happens is that you're not taking up time and energy and space from people who actually wanna learn. You see what I'm saying? Because there's people out on here that want to learn. People on here that want to actually improve. So give them space to improve. You feel what I'm saying? Give them space to learn without you typing in all your bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's right. the thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Well, well let, me, let, me, let, me, let me free the line up. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, yo, check out, check out the Bad Boy Show. Yes, Get sir. Get on that Bad Boy membership. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, support a real nigga because mm. he's a real nigga. Don't support. We we're not asking for, for your support because we just we just want your money. Mm. Cause we got we got we got a lot of different ways to get money in this motherfucker. Mm. So, so y'all could y'all could chill on that. Right. You know but if if we gonna put the time in, then niggas wanna get paid for the time. So it is what it is. But mm. you know what I'm saying? Support support the bad boy membership. Get on that Patreon. Facts. Support the uh uh you know support the bad boy show. You know what I'm saying? You know fuck with us because. Yo, cause I, I, I like I tell y'all, like niggas, niggas, niggas be in the chat talking about, oh, Miles don't get no girls. It's a fact. Like I'm not really about bitches like that. Mm. I'm not about bitches like that. Lucario would tell you that's not right. My truth. And the funny part is, and the funny part is, this is the funny part. Miles ain't even about chicks like that. But Miles could get Miles get more chicks than the average dude. You know what I'm saying? And Miles exactly. don't even but, like you know, this nigga don't even be trying. And it's like he be getting the shit popping. You feel what I'm saying? Well, but and that the main reason is, the, is because I'm 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 a, I'm 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 I know what I'm about. Like mm -hmm. I have I have confidence and I believe in who I am. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That that's my true superpower when it comes to getting anything I want in this life, whether it be chicks, money, mm -hmm. or whatever else. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's where it starts. That's where it starts. You see what I'm saying? That's why we try to tell y'all about how the truth is inside you, about confidence, um, and why all that shit is important because it helps you. To get anything else that you want in life, including women. Right. Y'all not, y'all niggas not even, y'all, y'all niggas not even, you know, y'all, you know, y'all in kindergarten. Y'all need, y'all can't even fathom that thought. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't even gather that fucking idea. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all telling us that we crazy just for that part. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 the part where it it, it kind of messes up. You see know what I'm saying? Right. Real that's talk, where man. It up. So you know, so y'all just like I said, man, just fuck with real real dudes, bro. Fuck a real dude. Like we not. This ain't no gimmick. This ain't no. We're not. We're not like Lucario. I mean, do y'all even understand how this nigga can put out videos every single day? Every single day. Right. That's and that's because like, it's the it's the experience, bro. That's why we telling cats like, yo, no. it's the fucking experience. It's the real. Like a dude who's not really about this game wouldn't be able to do that. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we trying to tell you guys. We, are we out here making it happen for y'all? So we trying to make it happen. You feel what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all, like, and, and I'm not, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying, I'm not, like, a lot, a lot of niggas might miss this what I'm saying and say, oh, oh, what you trying to say, oh, Lucario is, is, uh, is, is, is pussy whipped or, or he's all about bitches and mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. I'm mm -hmm. saying, 
him, him desiring to interact with females in on a masculine term and on a truthful, honest term is is a big part of who he is. Mm. You understand? Right. Because when it's time to work, when it's time to work, we work. When it's time to, you know, fly to all these different cities and get the documentary done and, mm. and fucking pull all nighters so we can get the website up and all that shit, we work. We do right. what we got to do. So it's not like he'll ever tell me, yo, fuck this work shit. I got to go fuck with bitches. Uh, mm. He's not right. going to do that. <laughs> right. but, the point I'm, but the point I'm trying to say is on a regular day, the person who he truly is is the nigga that fuck with bro. And he's trying to help y'all. He's trying to let y'all see mm. the realness of the whole situation and y'all niggas is you eat, because you you can't believe it for yourselves. You 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 think he's playing around, or you think he's playing games or mm-hmm. gimmicks with y'all. It's right. Like these other niggas, and it's not so. This nigga, this nigga, he's probably he's probably one of the realest niggas y'all ever gonna listen to on YouTube. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? That's because what's up, it, man. It's, it's truly what he's about. Y'all need to understand this shit. But anyway, man, like I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to put that out. And like I said, for the rest of y'all niggas. Make room for other niggas and just wait to get white stuff by one of these single <laughs> parent mothers. And when I say white stuff, I mean you the white. <laughs> he said you the white. You the white. That's what I'm you understand? Oh, Look, shit. A lot of y'all niggas, a lot of y'all, 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 y'all choose a single last niggas. Y'all waiting for a woman to, to, to turn you into something. So right. just keep waiting. And I'm sure that a, a, a woman with three, four, five kids, she'll, she'll, you know, finally he look at herself in the mirror and realize she hit the wall and give you a chance. Oh, shit, you understand what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all take it easy and uh, be, you know, be, be good, man. All right, bro. Weekend. I'm holler, man. All right, peace. I'm holler. All right. Later. This nigga Miles is wild though. Shit. So this game, Kings like this game back by chicks. Hilarious. Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, Mr. Ocario, it's Michael from London, but I'm currently speaking from Ibiza, Spain. How are you? I'm chillin'. What's going on? Um, yeah, so um, basically I'm on this party uh, with loads of women, like, everywhere, but, um, my good looks are, like, killing me at the moment. Right, what happened? Um, what's going on? <laughs> Um, I, I'm I'm getting them really shy. Like a lot of them keep calling me a player, which doesn't make any sense because we're on a fucking island to party. But yeah, um, it's weird. Really, the looks are really killing me, and I don't really know how to get over it. Mm-hmm. So you say? So you saying that? So you saying that the, your your looks is making it hard for for you to get the shit going? It's making it harder for me. We're making, I, I, ha- I, making it harder I, 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 for you. So like these ladies are are, are coming over to me. Mm-hmm just to compliment me but mm-hmm. when i try to make something happen like it doesn't happen right well the thing is again a lot of those girls because like I, I did a video about this for, for good looking guys and shit a lot of those girls they'll be intimidated so what's going to happen that what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to lay the foundation on strong meaning like so let's say if a chick come up to you and she says oh hey i came over i thought you were cute or whatever right and then yeah. what happens if you're trying to holler you feel what i'm saying you can't just be like, yeah. oh, cool. Well, you know, let, let me get your number. Let's hang out or whatever, right? You gotta, you gotta basically be complimenting her, letting her know you really bought it. So, if, so, so she comes up to you, she approaches you, hey, I think you're cute, whatever. Be like, oh, well, listen, you know, I think you're extremely attractive too. But listen, you know, um, me and you definitely need to get together. Let me get your number. Here's my number. You know, but like, you gotta make it. You gotta make it to where she knows you're like really real about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like that type yeah. of shit. You, you know what I, I mean? I was, I have this. Like, um, basically, I was with this girl for about an hour in the full body. Um, mm. And, like, for some reason, she just, she was so evasive. And I kept trying to put it on her. And I'd, like, let her know I'm here for her. Mm. And, uh, short story short, um, big story short, um, basically, she um, started checking out another guy who was less good looking. Mm. Um, and then, it... Hello, you there? Hello, 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 hello. You. Damn, dudes, be, dudes, phones be cutting out. You, you there? Hello. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, you was cutting out a little bit. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, so basically, she started looking at another guy. He was less good looking for me. That's for all your viewers. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so uh, I told him to just like leave me alone. Like I've already, I've already caught you like looking elsewhere. So don't mm-hmm. bother. Um, and I just want to know if, if that was a bit of an overreaction. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a little overreactive, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, chicks is going to look where they're going to look at, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. but the thing is with you, generally, what, what, what you need to do is it's almost like you need to... It, it's unfortunate because because a woman's insecurity dictates her actions, right? Yeah. You're going to have a, a, a good number of women who's going to be insecure around you. 
So because they're going to be insecure around you, what you're going to do is you need to turn it up just a little bit to where you're showing that you like them. You understand? Because they, they, because this is the thing. It's almost like they have to be, uh, like, they have to think and believe that you like them. Like they're like, because they don't believe a guy like you would like them. You understand? So you have to engage with them to the point where they they feel okay. This guy actually is into me. He's he's just not some player guy that's gonna. What you understand what I'm saying? So you yeah. you gotta you gotta you know lay it on thick. Like yo, I'm really really feeling you. Like I want to see you next week. You know when are you free? Like let's make this happen. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like it's almost like you gotta talk to her like she's the 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 the, the best hottest chick you ever met in your life. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, because even now for right. a party island, because this is a party island like spring break. Like mm-hmm. that's the environment I'm in. So I don't really understand why it's still happening. Right, but right. Well, that's that's the thing. When you're when you're when you're the guy who's good looking or a guy that they perceive as high value, it's going to be harder for you to, um, you know, get some of them because of their insecurity. You feel what I'm saying? All right. So I'm gonna have to approach and approach hard, basically. Right, and then you gotta and you have to let them know. Lay it on thick that you're feeling them. You feel what I'm saying? Like lay it on yeah. thick because sometimes even when you because for example, sometimes you may get a girl's number or you talking to her, and she'll sometimes say like, "Oh, you know, you seem like a player, or you're the type of guy that you know you must have a bunch of girls, and oh, I don't know, whatever." They'll have that energy, so you got to yeah. tell them be like, "Yo, listen, like you know, I don't know who you've been dealing with, I don't know what, what's going on with you, but I'm just letting you know." That I'm feeling you. Matter of fact, I'm I'm thinking about us naked in the bed right now. Like that's you know you understand know, you gotta like yeah. lay it on thick to them. You feel what I mean? And then, and then make it yeah, happen cool. with that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. All right, bro. Good I'm Olive. Peace. Uh, Later. Bye. All right. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Yo, what's going on? Ricardo. What's poppin'? Who this? Yeah, this is Brandon out of Dallas, Texas, man. All right, what's going on? Uh, man, I've been I've been waiting for you to have an episode like this, bro. I've mm. been following you for a couple years. I've been waiting for you to go in, bro. <laughs> man, I swear to God, these boys needed this info. Mm-hmm. I man, real talk. This, I'm telling you, bro, like, on some other shit, though, like, man, I'm a nigga I used to, I still do, and I got chicks because I've always put in work, because I've always felt like, you know, if you put in work, it can't nothing stop you. Right. But if that just home into the game that you telling them and really just living, and if you don't know, just don't say that bullshit and let people get it, mm-hmm. bro, you put people on a whole different level. Mm-hmm. Like... I done had, you know, got one night stands and shit off my homeboy listening to your game, bro. I done got one night stands off this. Man, little shit you saying on the free videos. I was on the bad boy for, you know, a couple months Mm -hmm. and went through it, all the videos, a couple Mm -hmm. times. That's what's up. You is a real ass nigga, and I hate when people be hating, man. That (laughs) bullshit in the comments, dude, they got to fuck with you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I appreciate it, man. I'm telling you. I appreciate it, bro. I done, I done put all my people on you and everything. Like, dude, you did, like I said, you didn't change my life. Like, I originally came to you, bro, just because when I was getting girls, girlfriends I really like in the back of my mind, I was like, you know, when you feel like something missing, that's why you say when the truth is inside you, I always used to feel like something was missing. Mm. And I come, you helped me figure out that I wasn't leading the chick that I was dealing with that I really wanted because like I said I always had chicks and I can get them and do this and do that but it's like now I mean like the game that you gave man is like that shit twice because it's like mm-hmm. niggas be out here getting divorced off little trinkets that you can drop them. Right. Like, what? <laughs> nah, like, man. I really appreciate you, bro. Straight up. Yeah, I appreciate man. I appreciate the call, my dude. I appreciate that, man. I'm a holler, bro, all right? Yeah. All What's right. What's up? Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's what's going on. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's that's the only type of receipts I care about. When dudes is letting you know they getting it in with the game. You feel me? Yo, what's popping? Who this? What up, man? What's going on? You're chilling, chilling like a feeling, man. All right. I got a couple questions for you, man. All right, what's good? Hello? 
Hey, what's going on? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You good? What's going on? Oh, I, I'm sitting down. I'm in the library, that's why. So I ain't trying to make that much noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a question, too. But for one, though, I want to start by saying, though, what you've been saying is true. Because, mm -hmm. like you said, I've been going a couple of days. You got me one. You know what I mean? I got like a little fuck buddy thing going on. I had called, uh, I, don't, I don't remember, a couple of weeks ago where, mm -hmm. about where the girl had told me I come off like, like I'm looking for a relationship, so I cut that whole shit, like going out shit. You know? Right. Like don't go out with the chick. So I did that, I cut that shit off. So strictly from now on, I mean with a chick, she's just coming over and we fucking that shit. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. That's what's that's up, bro. Too. That's a good point you made too. That's a good point. Cause when I was telling her we can go out, we can hang out, you like we'll be doing that shit, cause you can get that vibe, mm. that relationship vibe. Cause because I always thought that. Like I said, from watching movies and hearing what dudes say, like, you have to take the woman now, you gotta make it so special. Fuck that, I'm not doing that. Because mm -hmm. when you start doing that, then it comes off like you're looking for a relationship, like you said. Mm -hmm. If you're just looking for a fuck buddy. Right. But here's my thing, though, Cardio. But my question is, for instance, like, how do you test with women? Like, for instance, to, um, like, I went on four dates last week. Like I said, I got one that I'm smashing. But the other day, so I had two that was like, really good looking. Mm -hmm. And some of them come off like, it's like, a lot of them feel like the only thing they got to offer you is beauty. I remember too, my man K-Zad, shout out to K-Zad, he was like too, don't let these, so he was like, don't let these women trick you mm -hmm. as far as like, the only thing they got to offer is the beauty. How do you test them on the date? Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, if a woman is a tendo, I be trying to, uh, a winner, but I'm not trying to push the limit. Like I pick and choose, that's my thing too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that too, don't pick and choose though. Mm -hmm. How do you test a woman like, trying to see if she into you off the rip? Right. So you're saying, so you're saying that, um, you're saying how do you how do you test the chick to see if she's, you know, yeah, how do you test her? to see if she's like, like down like to, like to, to see if she's down to fuck? No, yeah, not just down to fuck too. If she's interested too. Oh, just if, if she's interested, interested overall. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the thing. That, see, the thing is, the the thing you want to test most for is really just sexual compat compatibility and just if she's interested in you sexually. So first is really just is more so just flirting and 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 seeing how she responds to your flirting and, and the sexual tension that's the first thing you see what i'm saying because a chick can pretend or act like or you know seem like she's interested in you but she may she may be interested in you because she may look at you as some guy that she could have take her out all the time or a guy that she could get to pay her bills and all that other shit so the thing is you have to test to see how sexually attracted she is to you and, that, and the only way you do that is really just by flirting that's really the main thing you see what i'm saying because what you're doing is you're testing to see how sexually interested she is you know at this moment you see what i'm saying but yeah here's it i'm gonna say that too but there are some women too they are like good at the game mm -hmm. they're experienced at the game mm -hmm. what if she's playing right into your game like some women, like some women may go and 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 and, and flirt with you how do you that because one chick I ain't gonna lie to like we were kissing mm -hmm. I'm the one chick like it was like three weeks ago before this one I'm smashing out mm -hmm. three weeks ago like we were kissing but she was never letting me fuck like every mm -hmm. time we like I, we went out the first time and uh, we were kissing mm -hmm. and then she'll come over then when I actually come over we just kiss we won't fuck mm -hmm. you know what I mean like she'll talk nasty but how do you, I mean should I just charge that chick to, to the game when she came over she didn't want to fuck or should I just uh, or, or just let it be yeah, no, you charge it to the game. See, that's the thing. See, the, the 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 testing is taking it up a notch. Because if you're kissing her, then you will say, hey, let's go back to my place. Let's hook up. Let's have sex, whatever. So now she should comply with that. If she's not complying with that, that's showing low interest. You see what I'm saying? That's showing low interest. You see what I mean? Because the thing is, you always want to put the girl, I guess you, you can sort of say on the spot to a certain extent, meaning that you're putting her in a position to where she has to make a decision, right? Now, she could say yes or no. If she says no, then, okay, we're done. We can charge to the game. If she says yes, you know, then we, we make it happen. But it's really all about getting her to the point to get to that point where you're giving her that situation for her to respond to. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's all it is. Because the test is just really seeing how sexually interested she is in you. And you do that by flirting and building sexual tension and gradually turning it up as you're going along. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Now, that's it, man. Uh, that's what it is. That's, that's what's up. That's my question, I mean. I know a couple man. cats I want to call in, but I appreciate the answer, too. All right, bro. Appreciate uh, the call, man. I'm going to start doing it. Peace. Later. I want, man. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. My man out here, he's like, look, I'm just smashing these chicks. 
I ain't even taking him out on dates no more. You feel what I'm saying? He's 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 he's, he's the game is is in him. Is 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 happening. You feel what I'm saying? So what's what's popping in the chat room, people? Man. All right, hold on. Let me see who we got here. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Hi, Miss Luther. You. Hello. All right, y'all niggas need to get your phones together. Yo, what's popping? Who this? What's going on, brother? What's popping? Who this? Yeah, this, this is uh, Spartan from Florida. How you been doing, man? You I'm doing chilling. Better? I'm chilling. What's going on? All right. Uh, I just want. Say that again. Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. Go ahead. What are you saying? Okay. Cool. I uh, so I, was, uh, I wanted to ask a question about um something, but I wanted to kind of backtrack to what uh, Miles was saying too. He was talking about how. Uh, you know, based off of him saying something like mm. that might be a bit tough or like bullying to a lot of guys, mm. that might be the thing that set them free. Mm. And uh, I wanted to say on that, you know, I went through a lot of shit recently, and I, I remember when that's kind of like how I found you and all these kind of stuff mm. that I had went through. Um, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't just because of the relationship, but mm. I can look at all aspects of my life and I could see point of where I needed to upgrade mm. or 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 uh, improve on as a man. Mm. So it's like a lot of guys who are talking about having troubles with women most likely you have troubles in other parts of your life too. Mm. Right. The thing is when when you when you start to upgrade yourself and you accept the information, you accept the fact that there possibly is something wrong with you, mm. not just the woman, mm. then then you can start to make changes right. in your life. Right. Not as real talk. That's exact. That's exactly correct. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, because a lot of these dudes, they're so focused. What they're doing, they're they're, they're being feminine, but they don't realize it. Mm. What they're doing is actually saying, "It's not me. It's 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 the problem. It's not me. It's the problem." It's right. Like God gave us free will and choice. So it's like when we see something that's not working out our way, we have a choice to either continue to do the same thing and get the same results which is called insanity mm -hmm. or we could upgrade and do something different do something better do something smarter more efficient and get a better or different result mm -hmm. so if you're sitting here you're complaining about women all day women do this women, okay we know there's shitty women out there there's shitty people all over the place but somehow you keep finding the shitty ones so that must mean that there's something wrong with you right right so you want to sit on YouTube and complain about female nature. Okay, yeah, we know they fucked up, but how about you listen to Mr. Macario? Mm -hmm. He's giving you the key. He's giving you the sister. Mm -hmm. so you can sift out all of the fucked up shit and just get the pure stuff. That's what you want. You want the pure mm -hmm. shit. You want that blue magic. Follow the fucking recipe. Mm -hmm. but these dudes don't want to listen to the recipe. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Right, that's so, the thing. You know, it's a lot because, you know what it is? Unfortunately, right? People, and this is just people in general. Um, people, there's a disconnect between um, between success and what it takes to get there. You understand what I'm saying? So, so what happens is a person. A lot of guys they'll watch, you know, uh, videos like mine or videos like other people or whatever, and they'll, they're looking to um, they're looking to learn how to get girls, right? So. They're like, oh, you know, whatever, I'll just, I'll do that later. It doesn't matter. It's, I don't need all that, whatever. Then they try to go out there and get women, right? So they'll go out there and talk to like six, six or seven girls or whatever, and all six or seven girls reject them, right? And then they're like, oh, this is some bullshit. I watched those videos. I tried all this stuff that I saw, but, and it didn't work. And so it's not that it didn't work. You just didn't know the work you needed to do to make it work. You feel what I'm saying? And so, and so that's the thing is that, they don't realize that they they got to hit the pavement. They don't realize that they got to actually go out there and interact with these women. Then, let's say they do get a girl. Then they like, okay, or they get a girl to deal with. Then they're like, damn, well, I tried to make this happen with her and it didn't happen. And now it's like they didn't understand the work it takes to maintain any situation you're dealing with a woman. And this is why the game is so important because it's not about, um, it's not about just getting it, right? It's about learning what you have to do to succeed at getting it and that's the part that most people miss is that they don't realize what they have to do to succeed so instead of that guy talking to the seven girls 
he may have to talk to 50 girls just to get one. You feel what I'm saying? But he don't realize that that's part of the game. And so he'll say, oh, the game don't work. It's like, no, you just don't know how to work the game. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Amen. Shit is crazy. So, uh, I wanted to tie that into because I, I agree with you 100%. You and Miles. Mm-hmm. Because it's like right now at my point in my life, you know, I was looking back earlier like, man, I've been through some fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Right, real talk, man. And see, in the chat room, this dude, locker room, he said, Locario always blames uh-huh. men for their failures. <laughs> He said, he said, I always blame men for their failures with women like it's within men's control. It is within your control. What are you talking about? Yeah. All of that shit. Look, th- let me tell you something. Let me tell you guys something. I'll tell you what's not in your control. When wh- The way a woman, like let's say you go up to a girl and you say hi to her, right? You don't control how she responds, right? But what you do control is how you respond to women. So if that girl ignores you, right, you go to another girl. Who's not gonna ignore you? So if you don't get a girl, that's in your control because you didn't go out to the next girl into the next girl. You see what I'm saying? So that's what dudes gotta understand. They're always talking about, oh well, it's not my fault. It's not my fault that I'm ugly. It's not my fault because I don't have all this other excuses. But they don't realize they have like the fact that listen, the fact that you're a man and women expect you to come and approach them, right? And it's already uh, you know in you as a man to approach. You have all this power to go and approach whoever you want. You feel what I'm saying? Whoever you want. You feel what I mean? And so, and, 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 and like uh, Costas in the chat, he said, you can't control the attraction and cannot make her attracted to you. Either she likes you or not. I agree. So why don't you go and find the girls who like you? You feel what I'm saying? Uh, That's what dudes don't understand. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. They're too busy fucking with like they're fucking with everything they're not sifting out and going for the pure stuff right the stuff that that's gonna work for them mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. it's like when a, when, a, when a gold miner goes to dig for gold he's not collecting all of these rocks because they're pretty mm-hmm. he's going after gold he's going after a specific mm-hmm. real talk real talk hold on did he cut out again wow. yeah, that's, okay that's, you did good my, my bad, you was cutting out a little bit. Okay, okay. I was saying, like, earlier that that's very feminine. So, I have a question about uh, that. that, that so, God damn, these fucking yeah. motorcycles outside. My bad, I, I didn't hear you say that one more time. I swear, every time you spin by, like, they send a hit crew out to look for you or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So, uh, so uh, when, when, a, when a woman that you've been with, Mm-hmm. You know, you consider yourself, because, you know, some people say, oh, if you're a good man, you don't have to say you're a good man. Mm-hmm. Nah, that, you can say it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have a thought going out and going out and brag about it, but if you were good to a person, you mm-hmm. can pretty much say you were good to them. Mm-hmm. So, so if you were good to a, a woman and you took her seriously, you were in a relationship, you're trying to build with her, but she was just doing everything that was mm-hmm. to just destroy the situation. Almost like how we talk about how good looking guys have it hard with women too. Mm-hmm. It's like the same thing with good good men it's like they have it hard because a lot of these women are insecure right so, right let me ask you a question why would why would a woman who is probably who's insecure who has issues that she probably got from past relationships that cause her to act stupid in the current i'm not saying they're causing her but mm. that could uh, add to her stupidity in the current relationship with a good person mm. when that relationship ends with that good person why would she go back to the relationship that may have caused or added on to the situation as far as her insecurity goes why mm. would they go back to actually back back in the past right so you're saying like the chick was on some fucked up shit with another dude or some other dudes and then she got a good dude she'll leave the good dude and go back to the bullshit is that what you're saying yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. well that's but and, and see that's because um, you know, those women they don't feel they deserve uh the good dude. You understand what I'm saying? That's how some people are. Like they, they actually feel like they don't deserve it. You see what I mean? And so and so what happens is because they feel they don't deserve it, what they'll do is sometimes they'll try to sabotage the, the relationship with the good guy. They'll try they'll do shit to make because this is what this is what will happen. They'll do shit on a subconscious level to make the good guy want to leave. So then they'll say, see, I can't get a good man because every time I was with this good guy and he didn't want to be with me. 
But they they did shit to sabotage that. And then they'll go back to the bullshit that they feel that they deserve. They feel that that's their level. You see what I'm saying? And so, and also too, what happens is this, because even my, my girl was like that, where she she was, she was dealt with um, some, you know, niggas in the past where the shit wasn't, wasn't you know, good or whatever. So what, while I was with her, we got into situations where she felt like, you know, I was going to leave her. She felt like I was too good for her or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? So what happens was, we, you know, we would have conversations about it. I talked to her about it. We go through that or whatever. And so the thing is, is that what made this shit, you know, stick or stay was partly me sort of like talking to her and trying to like basically upgrade her mind in a different level. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and, and so which is why we're still together because the average dude would have probably just been like, man, fuck that, I'm out. You feel what I'm saying? Because she's acting all crazy and acting all, all over the place. But a lot of times women will act that way because they feel they don't deserve the good guy. This is why sometimes you'll get rejected automatically. Sometimes you walk up to a chick, you holler at her, she'll reject you because she know, she feels that she's not on your level. And a, and a guy might think, oh, damn, I guess she ain't like me. No, she liked you, but she was intimidated by you. She felt like, damn, I can't really fuck with this guy. If I fuck with him, he's going to fuck the shit out of me and then never call me again because at some point he's going to realize I ain't shit. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, that's how it is. You know what I mean? That's how women operate. And this is why I say to guys that, this is why I said on the last caller where he was talking about, you know, some of these chicks be intimidated because his looks or whatever. Sometimes if, and this is why you got to have self-awareness and, and also awareness of how women, how women view you. Because if a woman views you, or if women generally view you as a higher value guy, what happens is, is that you're going to have to validate her. You understand what I'm saying? In order for her to even want to yeah. fuck with you. And this is why I be telling guys that when you're talking about no validation, no validation is a lower level type of game. You feel what I'm saying? You're basically saying that you're not high value enough to where she would need you to validate her. Because you see what I'm saying? Because if you're if you're on a lower level or a chick doesn't see you as high value, it makes sense for you not to validate the chick because then you would need her to see you as higher value to want to fuck with you. But if you're on a higher level, you need to bring her up, meaning you have to validate her up to you. You see what I'm saying? And so that and that's the type of game that I teach where I tell guys to be that more attractive, um, interesting guy, because what's gonna happen is first that helps you out as a, a man, first first of all. You feel what I'm saying? And then also when you're dealing with women, you bring them up to your level. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Yo, but you see, you see how crazy, and it, it, how almost, and excuse the, the the word, excuse my French, but you see how retarded mm. the, the 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 thought process of, of women are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> let me ask, now, now now to these dudes that are out here making these videos of being mad at women. Mm. How retarded you gotta be to be mad at a retarded person for being retarded? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See, see. This is the thing. This is the thing. I I, I, to, I told this to my wife the other day. I said I said to her. I said um, you know, I said the reason why a relationship lasts or usually lasts in most cases, not all the time, but most cases, is because the man makes it happen. Meaning, I, I told this to my wife before. I said I said that uh, I said most women should be getting broken up with almost every day. Like I was like a man should be breaking up with this chick all the time. And I, and I said the reason why is because there's always reasons for him to be like, man, fuck this shit. But if he wants to keep it going or wants to maintain it, he doesn't. He 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 maintains it. He keeps it going. So a, a man, a real man, understands that he's supposed to lead his woman, that he's supposed to guide her in the right direction. So you can't really get mad at a chick for for sort of being all over the place. It's your job to get her centered so that you can create the situation for the relationship to flourish so when the guy is on youtube talking about yo man fuck these bitches these bitches on that bullshit blah 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 blah. i understand if you having that sort of sort of uh perspective but understand right. the reason why you have that perspective is because you don't understand your position as a man because your position Amen. as a man is it's, it's almost like if you're a parent and you're complaining that your kid is like you know running around and leaving a mess around the house that's your fault as a parent not fucking managing the kid. You feel what I'm saying? 
You're not going to go on YouTube and be like, man, fuck these kids. These kids be out here doing all this bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Whose fault is that, though? You feel what I'm saying? So if you're if you decide to be a parent, meaning decide to give birth to a kid or, you know, make a kid or whatever, that's your responsibility to manage that kid. If you decide to be in a relationship with a woman, whose responsibility is it to keep that relationship intact? Yours as the man. You see what I'm saying? But dudes don't understand that. They be sitting there, they get with a chick and be like, yo, this chick did that and this chick did this. My nigga, that's your fault. You stayed with a chick that was doing that. You didn't fucking upgrade this chick mind. You didn't put a chick on your program. That's your yep. that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't fucking get uh I don't ha I don't got no sympathy for these MGTOWs or none of these niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Because they'd be like, oh, it's a gynocentric uh, you know, situation and you know, the, the the girl she's gonna take you to court and do all this other stuff. Nigga, that's your fault for marrying a chick who is like that. That's your fault for having a kid with a chick who is like that. That's your fault for not putting this chick on your program. That's your fault for not charging the chick to the game the first time she was on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no sympathy I, for you. You know what I mean? Like, that's on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the, dudes who, for the dudes who don't have the information, mm -hmm. you know, to make things better, you know, you can understand their frustration, you can understand their anger. Right. But for, it's a whole nother animal when you've been exposed mm -hmm. to the key and you're choosing to keep that door closed. But what that is is fear, and which is really ultimately procrastination. So all the time you're making all these angry videos, you could be accepting, mm. and you could be understanding and growing, but you choose not to. You choose to stagnate your development mm. because it's easier. It's easier, like you said, it's your job to manage. That means job requires work. Mm -hmm. Job requires uh, upgrading of information and improvement, constant, mm -hmm. constant fucking force into just trying to be a better you, you know, better every, you know, like businesses, every, every year they're trying to do better than they did last year. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, like I was saying earlier, relationships are no different from anything else in life. It's about growth. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to grow, you want to stay and complain and complain and complain, but ultimately you got to listen to stuff. Right. Real talk. Real talk. And see, in the, in the chat room, they talking about, he said, he said, I have no sympathy because I've never been in their shoes. I've been in their shoes and I learned. You feel what I'm saying? That's what dudes got to understand. Like all this shit that I'm telling dudes, I'm like, yo, I've been there. I've been the dude complaining about chicks back in the day. You feel what I'm saying? I've been the dude right. who's fucking around with dumb chicks or been in situations. I'm like, so I'm telling you guys like, yo, cut these chicks off if they on some bullshit. If you're going to deal with a chick, stay with her for a while before you even make her your girlfriend. Make sure she's worth that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you don't fuck around getting some random chicks pregnant. All of this shit, you, you take precautions so that you don't put yourself in a situation. You see what I'm saying? So if you're in a situation, you didn't protect, you didn't take precaution. So the thing is this, a guy will say, well, I was married and my wife, she divorced me and she did this and did that. So now I'm MGTOW. You understand what I'm saying? And my thing is this, a lot of times, see, if, if, if you get a divorce or shit don't work out, you know, it is what it is. People change and all this other stuff. But if you get a divorce and now you mad that, you know, your, your, your ex-wife, you got to pay her alimony, you got to pay her child support, all that other shit, right? What happens is, is that that's the L you're going to have to take for you putting yourself in that position, period. Because anything you do, you did it. You feel what I'm saying? That's on you. So you could learn from that or you could be bitter about it and, and bitch and moan about the shit. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I agree. And let me just say this mm -hmm. one last thing. So let's, let's look at how, how, how much there's so much of a gap of understanding within our society, mm -hmm. you know? Somebody who graduates high school who wants to be an engineer mm -hmm. with, with a, like a high school kid at 18, 17 years old, right. in, their right, in their right mind, they'd, say, they'd never say right after high school, I'm going to be an engineer because mm -hmm. they know that the company is not going to hire them mm -hmm. to be an engineer. Right. So that means they, they know, they know in their heart of hearts, I have to learn first how to become an engineer right. before I can go apply for the job. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these do, but they want, they want to come straight off the porch, right into the, the, the job, and it's like, it don't work that way. You have to first go through mm -hmm. a course of, of, of knowledge and, 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 and information right. and skills of skills acquired before you can perform your duty at home. You couldn't just go to bowling and just get a job. You got to learn what you got to do before you get there. Mm -hmm. And we got to boss up. It's just that simple. Right, real talk. That's real shit, yeah, man. man. But yo, man, I appreciate right. the call, my brother. Real talk. Mm -hmm. I appreciate them points, man. I'm a holler, man. All right? Yeah, 
Alright, peace. Later. Later. That's what's up. So, Costa, as you say, you wanna you wanna do a consultation? Hit me up on the on the website. Go to mrlocario.com. Click on the coaching part, and it, it'll say free consultation. Hit me up over there. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you do that. Crazy, crazy. So what's popping in the chat, people? We got Critical Mike in the building. What's popping, bro? What's good? Yo, what's going on? Yo, Ricardo, what's going on? It's Create Noise, man. What up? What's the deal? Yo, man, um, I have a quick question. Um, mm -hmm. It's a bit of a strange question. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what is your stance on leading women but at your job? Is that what, wait, say good. that again? Leading women but at your job. Mm -hmm. That's like a little different. Because you can't really navigate the way you typically do. You've got to be like more ambitious. Mm. Oh, so you say meeting no. women, you're talking about women that don't work with you, you talking about just but women that come to your job, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 that you work with. Oh, that women that you job. work with, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, because, like, I'm starting to find that you got to lead women in anything and everything, but it's not the same thing at your job. <coughs> so, like, what, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your take on that? Like, what, do you, what is your opinion on that? On meeting, on meeting women at your job? No, leading, leading. Oh, leading, leading women. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, well, this is the thing. If you're at work, unless you're the manager or unless you're the boss, you don't need to lead no women. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Because at the job, at the job, at that particular place is the manager or the boss. So, you know what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with a chick, you know what I mean? It's almost sort of like at that particular job, y'all are sort of on the same level. You feel what I'm saying to a certain extent? Working at McDonald's and she, like lead the chick, you know what I mean? Right. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, so you, give me one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Let me, all right, let me, we take on. Fresh. We try to run. All right. I'm trying to repeat. What is going on?
this is some bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is going on with this shit? Alright. Can you guys see me? Y'all like, can, can see me? What the fuck is going on with this shit? This shit is wilding the fuck out. This shit is wilding the fuck out. God damn. <laughs> You're like, fix, fix that shit. Yo, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this shit. Man. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this shit. Can you, can you guys see me? Can you guys see me? Is it lagging? Can you guys see me now? Is everything good? Can you guys see me be back? All right. All right. Can you guys see and hear me? We, we straight? We good? We good? Are we good? All right. Let me see if this shit... All right, so we good, we good, we good. All right, let me turn back on the Skype. Hold on. Let me turn back on the Skype real quick. See if we could uh, we get this shit popping. So everybody can see? All right, cool, 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 cool. We, we back, we back. Mm. I don't know what the fuck was going on with this shit. I don't know what the fuck was going on with this shit right here, man. Jesus Christ. All right. So what's good? 
That's what's up. We got 100 likes in the building. That's what's, what's popping. Let's get it going. We need we need more likes. We need more likes in the in, on the on the joints. And more likes on the video. Let YouTube know so you can get more likes on the video. Spread the word. You feel me? All right. So what's going on, people? What's going on in the chat room? We back. We we'll go a little bit. You know, a little bit more. A little bit longer. You feel me? All right. Good. Good. We good. We good. Man. All right. So you guys can call back in the call the number six four six. Four eight one three nine zero one. It's a locker room broke the internet. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. So what is popping in the chat, people? What is good? So the government had to keep the game from coming out. <laughs> Hilarious. He said the incels hacked the stream. Real talk. Shit is funny. Yo, y'all been have y'all been using that that fucking face app, that old people app? That face app shit. I was using that shit, man. I, I didn't like I didn't like how I didn't like how they made my face look mad old and shit. They made my face look old as fuck. Let me see if I can find. Let me see if I can find one of them joints. Hold on. Man. But yeah, this is this is this is my my old man picture. That's my old man picture right there. You feel what I'm saying? That's the old man picture. Man, man, y'all have y'all used that face that face app? That shit crazy. That shit is crazy. Man. Shit is crazy, bro. So what's popping, people? See, I had the, I got the, the, I did the face app too, but that right there. That's that's that they made me look young on the face app. You feel what I'm saying? You could do a shit where you could look young as fuck. You feel me? Man. They said I was using free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Lip Fabs, he said you need an extra, y'all need an extra hour, an extra hour a game for that. <laughs> oh man, y'all funny. Y'all dudes are funny. Man. You said, how do you deal with social anxiety and be less awkward? Well, basically, you just gotta you have to um talk with more people. You gotta be more social. So the way you get over it is you gotta get into it. You gotta push yourself. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta push yourself. You feel me? Man. Shit is crazy. Casas, what are you talking about? Casas, you be you be way off, bro. You be way off. He says, so Lamar Odom has more game because he slept with more women than you? <laughs> oh, man, hilarious. What up, Smith Reeves? Was good, bro? Oh, man. You said preach some game. You got to ask me some questions in the chat so we can, we can get it in. You got to ask me some questions in the chat or call up. The call the number 646-481-3901. You feel what I'm saying? You said the Russians got my info now that I use the app? They probably do. They probably do. They're going to clone my ass. Man. They're going to clone my ass, man, out this motherfucker. Shit is crazy. Man, so yeah, so you know, what I was talking about earlier, man, a lot of dudes in this game out here, man, they need to give up, bro. I, I, I fully I fully support MGTOW now. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fully support the incels and the TFL motherfuckers. I support all that shit. 
You feel what I'm saying? I support it all. Because I want niggas to really, like, you know, if they ain't really about it, they need to just keep it moving. And they keep that shit pushing, bruh. Man. Casa, she says, so since Lamar Odom has slept with 2,000 women, should we learn game from him? Because technically speaking, he is more successful with women than you. Um, not necessarily. So if a guy, let's say, for example, a guy slept with 300 women, but he paid all of them, does that mean he's more successful at uh, attracting women? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you said, how do you influence a woman if she's only halfway cooperating? Well, see, that that comes into seduction. So what happens is, is that if a woman is like, halfway cooperating of course that means she's not fully cooperating so that means usually that means she's not all the way into you you feel what i'm saying so basically what happens is the way that you influence her uh to cooperate basically is based off of you know you figuring out what your agenda is and also figuring out a way to fit her into the agenda based off of something that she may be interested in so basically for example if you're talking to a chick and you flirting with her but she's not really cooperating all the way but let's say you want to get her back to your place right and let's say she likes a certain type of liquor that you have back at your place so you say listen you know well instead of we us staying over out here why don't you come back to my place and I got so-and-so liquor we could drink a little bit and chill. You feel what I'm saying? So then what happens is, is that because she wants that liquor and she's already halfway sort of into you, that could make her want to come through and make shit happen. You see what I'm saying? But it's about you paying attention to the woman, understanding what she may be interested in, what may make her tick, and then use that to sort of seduce her and get her to come, you know, towards your situation. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. Man. What up, Gillian? What's popping? What's good? So you say you're from Argentina? That's what's up. Man. Chad, you said, what the fuck is an incel? An incel is someone who, who claims they're involuntarily celibate. Which <laughs> is a stupid ass thing to say because you can't, you're, you, you're, you're, you're not involuntarily celibate. You're celibate because you ain't trying to do shit. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't trying to fuck. Like there's really no such thing as an incel. You feel what I'm saying? There's no such thing. Um, yeah, the Skype is on. Anybody, you, people trying to call in? What's popping? The Skype is on. Locker room said men don't care about attracting women. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. You feel what I'm saying? You said you're calling in? You ain't calling in. Well, let me see something. Let me see something. Because y'all be bugging out. Maybe it's something on my end. Hold on. Maybe it's something on my end. Maybe it's something on my end. I don't know. Because I don't know what's popping. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is going on now? Hold on one second. Why are the calls not coming in? This is ridiculous. Hold on. No wonder. I'm like, shit is just all fucked up today. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was that was just me testing the, the calls. So the calls are good. You guys can call in if you want. I was just testing the calls. Something's wrong with that. Um... 
He said, when you slept, when I slept with, with girls who had husbands and boyfriends, did I know about it? Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. So some uh, some chicks that I fuck with who had boyfriends or husbands, I didn't know until after. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's good? Who's this? Yeah, what's good, Lucario, man? Glad you got your Wi-Fi fixed. I, kept I know, calling. right? I was like, I was just Skype working, and I like, kept calling us. But look, you remember, I don't know if you remember, but um, you did the show with Miles, I think, either last week, and I called. I was a pen pal dude. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was calling out. And I was talking to the shorty, and I ain't never met her, but, you know, mm. she was, we were just talking. Mm. She just basically used me for some, you know, attention, and she bored, and I was trying to get some money from her and stuff. Mm. Right, so, so, look, so what's bopping? Okay, okay, here's the thing, like, okay, so we was talking for, like, two months, mm. and mind you, she stayed, like, 200 miles away, right? Jesus. Like, we never met, and uh, I met her on a the, on the dating site or whatever. Mm. And uh, so after two months of talking to her, whatever she like, the last seven weeks she started to kind of get distant. We I didn't hear no phone calls from her no more, or whatever. So I basically asked her like uh, a couple of days ago. I was like, Yo, look, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, do I do I got a chance to get at you? You know what I'm saying? Mm. And she was like, Why? It's too late. You know what I'm saying? So she basically was saying she lost interest or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So then I was like, all right, so do you think it's a possibility that we, we, you going to come see me in the future? She was like, no. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. she, I was like, um, I was like, I think you should come see me. She was like, you going to pay me? You know what I'm pay for me to come see you? Like, you know, I got, kind of got thrown off. But anyways, mm -hmm. okay, so basically a chick don't have no interest in, you know what I'm saying, um, we probably never going to meet. Is it okay to talk to her as a friend? I mean, what? So, who do you mean? What do you mean? Talk to her as a friend? Like what? <laughs> I mean, well, she, well, well, I never met her, but is it okay to just talk to her? Like, you know what I'm saying? When you just need somebody to talk to, you know what I'm saying? And so why? <laughs> okay, so I'm wondering why? Why her though? Well, I mean, I mean, I already been talking to her for like two months. Number one, right? Number two is weird. Is weird because. She's okay. She finally established. Okay, like a couple of weeks ago, she said I was almost in a friend zone. Okay, whatever. But now it's official that she has no interest in me. She told me whatever. Mm -hmm. and it's official now that I'm never gonna see it. So it's pretty much I already accepted the fact that I'm probably not gonna get nothing out of the deal. Mm -hmm. No sex. I'm not gonna probably get no bread out, out of there or whatever. So I'm like, but she still calls. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then. You know what I'm so wait, like, so wait, so you said she still calls you? Yeah, like okay, yeah, like yeah, like she 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 used to call every day, right? Mm -hmm. But okay, but then the calls started to get lesser and lesser to mm -hmm. the point now we only talk twice a week. She don't call me on weekends no more. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, it's cool. I think she fucking with somebody else, whatever. But I'm like, should I still talk to her when she called, being that I'm not getting nothing out of the deal? Like she not gonna show face. She not gonna. And why, so why why would you wanna? So why would you want to keep call, talking to her if you ain't getting nothing out of it? I mean, I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I, I be needing somebody to talk to sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 in, a, I'm in a bind right now. I don't got my life right now. I kind of fucked up for real. Mm -hmm. like, so I be needing somebody to talk to. Shit. I mean, if, I if, if if that's what, if you feel like you need, you ain't got no friends or nothing, you ain't got no other friends that nah, you can talk to nah, or nothing? Nah, nah, Damn, nah, bro, nah, you got nah, to nah, get nah, out and talk know, to some, nah. meet some people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, right now I can't get out right now. That's the problem. Oh, like, you're right like now, under house arrest or something? Or some shit like that. Okay, I got you. <laughs> well, I mean, look, listen, if you ain't, if you know what I mean, if, if you feel like you're under house arrest or something, and you can't really go nowhere, and you know what I mean, you got nothing else to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I got you. Yeah, 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 I got you. Wait, 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 okay, wait, stop, so now you, <laughs> wait, so she can't, so why are you even dealing with this chick, bro, like, get out of here, like, like, I, I, I thought you meant she was, like, cool career. and shit, you know what I'm saying, oh, wait, my goodness, you said what, you said now, what I, now? now, I thought you was gonna say, like, she real cool, that's why you wanna talk to her and shit, and she a cool people, so you talking about she getting disrespectful? I mean, every now and then, but she looks at it like you just a weak ass nigga. You think take shit too personal and shit. You know yeah, I'm nah, like, she's done. She's charged. Get out of here. She's done. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's over. I thought I thought you was gonna say, oh, she a cool chick. You know what I'm saying? No, 
nah, 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 listen, listen. She cool. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but you know every now and then a chick will say something slick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just not on the... She's not hardcore disrespectful. Like, she be her feminist shit sometimes. I can tell that she really doesn't, you know what I'm saying, have no respect for me. Look at me like that. You know what I'm saying? That, I guess because I'm in a friend. But, like, let me ask you a question. How, how long are you... So, you how long are you under this house arrest shit? How long do I want to talk to him? No, no, I'm saying how long are you on house arrest? Um, shit, I don't know right now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of shit going back and forth. But this is gonna be a while. You know what I'm saying? Right. So damn. So look, man. Look, I would tell you don't even really fuck with her. If she's on some disrespectful shit, if it's on some whatever, just you know what I'm saying, like. Don't really indulge too much into that. I, I feel like it's better that you don't fuck with, talk to nobody than to be dealing with a chick who's on some disrespectful shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, she's not. She don't do it all the time. It's, so you, it's you, 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 you making excuses and shit. Nah, listen, listen. You, you like, you listen. Like, sometimes a chick will say something slick, but, you know, it's like in a joking fashion. Like, she knows she's not seeking you on some relationships. And so she kind of talks to you like a homeboy. Like, she'll say something slick every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, you bro, you got you gonna have to bro, I'm telling you, cause see look man, you gotta understand when you're dealing with people, right? You you wanna deal with people who have a certain type of energy, man. So if she's even at some point even a even a little bit being disrespectful, call it a day with her, bro. You you better off by yourself than talking to this chick. You know what I'm saying? And there's more others a bunch of other chicks you could fucking meet up online or, or match it online and talk to. You feel what I'm saying? There's a yeah, bunch of other chicks. You know how many of these chicks want attention? Nigga, you could fucking call these chicks up and charge their ass. Be like, listen, I'm a, you know, you could talk to me anytime you want. $20 a month. You feel what I'm saying? Like, holler yeah, at me whenever. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I that'll be a good ass service too if y'all niggas don't make some money. Like, tell chicks they could call you anytime for 20 bucks a month, you feel me? Like, on some straight G shit. Like, you just, that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Lucario, Lucario, this is what I did, though. I told Shorty to buy me something to eat one night. And Shorty hung up on me. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Keep that shit pushing. That's on some disrespect shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Keep that okay, shit pushing, okay. bro. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, don't be don't be just giving these chicks your time and energy, man. Fuck all that, that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. All uh, right? I appreciate it, Lucario. All right, man, I'm Allah. Peace. Man. Crazy. Dudes be the fucking... They be, need, they be desperate for that attention, man. You can't be doing that shit. Man. Dude. Dude was trying to hold on to that chick for, for a minute. Like, man. Shit is crazy. Man, so what's going on? What else going on, people? What else is going on? Call the number 646-481-3901. Jesus said, he said, if she doesn't have respect for you and you let her still be a friend, then you don't have respect for yourself. Real talk. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, he's talking about she being disrespectful. I'm like, nigga, you still talking to this chick? Like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Shit is crazy. Man. Shit is ridiculous. So what else is going on in the chat room, people? What else is going on? Man. What time is it? I'm about to... I gotta head out soon. I gotta head out soon. I'll probably take one more call and then I gotta head out. But um but yeah this dude the last caller man see he, he was just lonely. He need, he needed somebody to talk to. I'm like shit man. I'm like shit. I'm like, he could, he could go online and get lots of chicks to talk to. What? You know how many chicks online want to talk? Costas, you can't debate me, bro. 
What are you talking about? You can't debate me. It's 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 not gonna happen. Casas, you cannot debate me. You cannot debate me. It ain't gonna happen. What are you what are you gonna debate me about? Like Casas, you're 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 a virgin. The last time the last time you 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 told me you was a virgin. So what are you gonna debate me about? That's like, that's like somebody who's unemployed trying to debate Bill Gates on money management or some shit. Like, what? <laughs> like, come on, bro. That shit is too funny. You saw how they're going to debate me. He's always my longest drought. Um... Shit, I don't. I can't remember. Might be like a month or something. He said, "How come you condemn women's bad behavior, but yet if a man does something, he gets slaughtered?" What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't even understand what you said just now over there. He said, "Dudes be laughing for punishment." I don't even understand that question. He said, how come you're, you condemn women's bad behavior, but yet if a man does something, he gets slaughtered? What, I, don't, I don't even understand. That makes no sense. It's crazy. Right, Yo, what's going on? Who's this? You. You. All right. You just be calling in to hear the sound of my voice and shit. I don't know. Larry like said she disrespect you. You disrespect her. What are you, what are you talking about? Lean machine talking about looks matter. Get that through your heads. Looks do matter. Everything matters. Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to see what y'all saying in the chat room. I'm trying to answer y'all questions. Okay, so you were saying leading women at work, especially those choosing you. Well, look, man, if you if, first of all, you guys need to get this book because I have a whole chapter for all you guys who like to holler at chicks at your job. You feel what I'm saying? Let me let me let me let me let me uh let me see where it's at. Hold on. Let me get to the to the table of contents. Um, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck did I put this shit? Hold on. All right, let me show you guys. All right, so look. Chapter. What is it? Chapter five. Let me put it up to the screen real quick. Uh, chapter five, how to have sex with your coworkers. Okay. Get this book right here. Man. Kazi said, why you can't debate? You can't debate because you are a virgin, bro. You have no experience. What are you going to debate me on? What are you gonna debate me on? <laughs> exactly, I don't get. He's like, he said, like, what can these guys, little to no experience or success with women, actually debate about when it comes to dating? Exactly, exactly. That's what I, I don't. You know, I don't get it. Man. But yeah, dudes, see, this is the thing. A lot of dudes, and this is what I was talking about earlier, with these guys who, you know, don't really know the game, but they think they know the game, and they're like, oh, well, I can talk about, you can't talk about that. Bro, I've been doing this for over a decade. I've coached dudes all over the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've fucking, um, you know, coach dudes who 
were like really good looking dudes to like average looking dudes to below average looking dudes. You say you're going to debate me on why looks matter to women. Why are you going to debate me for that? Looks do matter to women. There you go. There you go. We agree. <laughs> we agree. See, the, the problem with a lot of dudes, they got a misconception. I've never, um, you know, said that looks don't matter to women. I'm saying that your looks don't matter when it comes to you trying to get pussy. Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? Yo. Yo. Why niggas keep calling up and just hanging up? Y'all niggas is wild. It is crazy, but um, but yeah, dudes, you know, dudes be you know all weird about the whole looks thing. Dudes be mad weird on that looks thing. Exactly, Chaz. Ugly, ugly dudes get pretty chicks all the time. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Yo, Lucario, it's Create Noise again. What up? What's good? Yo, man, um, like I was asking earlier, uh, I was asking about, like, uh, meeting chicks at work, but the ones that, even though, like, are choosing you, but you don't want anything to happen, to pop off. Like, how do you navigate stuff like that? So you say you don't want anything to happen? Yeah, like, because, like, you know, getting stuff happening at work is a bit, you know, it's not sketchy, but it can be wild. It can be... It's not, it's not. It's so not wait, so wait, right? you're saying, you're saying you don't want anything to happen, period, or you don't want anything to happen at work? What are you, what are you, what are you asking? Like, I don't, like, you don't want anything to pop off, because here's the thing, like, with chicks, in my experience, like, if, if you don't do anything, they look at you bad, and if you do something, it can end that. Mm. So it's kind of like, you kind of have to navigate things in a way where you don't lead them off, but you can't really cave in to what they want. You know what well, I mean? the thing you is, you don't, you don't, you don't have to do nothing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like... You don't have to do anything. Like, if a chick is at your job and she's choosing you, that don't mean you got to be fucking with her. You, you can just ignore her ass. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why why are you even, uh, like, thinking about it? Just, you know what I'm saying? You see the chick, you say good morning, and when you yeah. leave, you say good night. And that's it. Like, why are you even, why are you even worried because about the chick? A, because here's the thing. The, the, what I thought the whole reason you don't get with chicks in your job is because things can go south. Things mm -hmm. can end up being pretty bad. Mm -hmm. But when they don't, like, but when they don't, I guess get chosen, things go south anyway. Mm. You know, maybe not to the same degree, but they still, it's still kind of, you know, chips don't take rejection very well. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Well, that's, 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 that's what I mean. Like, if there's like a, a, like a smoother maneuver. Oh. Well, not, I mean, it's just really like if a chick come on to you at work, just be like, hey, listen, you know, uh, I don't really mess with chicks at my job. I don't work, I don't shit where I eat. And then that'll be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she can't take that, then that's on her. You know what I'm saying? Because she can't do nothing to you after that. Say that again. You just be straight up. About yeah, just be straight up about it. Be like, listen, you know, I don't, I don't really, you know, mess with people I work with. But you know, you cool. We could be cool at work, but that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like there are, there are women like that, that like are kind of like iffy about you, or maybe they, they don't really like they're not into you. But there are some that sort of like are still like I guess kind of like it's weird. It's like when you check them, that kind of turns them on. Mm -hmm. It's freaking weird. Right. It's kind of like even if when you're being tested, I guess, because like I, it seems like dealing with women is just all it is is testing your manhood. Mm -hmm. That's what I've learned. Mm -hmm. So like it is weird. It's kind of like you create more situations for them to like you. Right. It's, it's like backwards as hell. Mm -hmm. So, so it, that's happened to me quite a few times. I'm in a leadership position, mm -hmm. and I can't really. Be, I'm trying to kind of like, kind of like, let like kind of act like not do nothing, and that's really not my style. I usually uh, not confront stuff, but I usually try to handle things before they escalate, mm -hmm. and that's more or less that's what's on my mind. I don't want things to escalate. Right. Well, the thing is, it, the thing is, you know, unless the chick come up to you and try to make something happen, you ain't got nothing to worry about because most girls are, are passive or passive aggressive anyway. You feel what I'm saying? So most of the chicks ain't going to come up to you. And if the chick does come up to you and try to make something happen, just be like, look, you know, I'm flattered, but I don't really do that at work. And that's it. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. 
That's all you got to do, bro. All right? Okay. Um, all right, bro. All right. I'll, 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 I want to see if I can get, like, a private call with you because I actually do want to get deeper into but yeah, that's more or less answers my question. I all guess. right, cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely hit me up on the on the website and all that. All right. I'm all right, right, man. Appreciate all right, it. Peace. Later. Later. Man. Crazy. So what else is good, people? Man. All right. The caller number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Dude's talking about buying escorts, of course. <laughs> Yo, I remember um, my stepbrother fucking got an escort for like, I think like $600 or some shit. And he said it was the worst sex he ever had in his life. I was like, <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? Hey, what's going on? Soda Moon. What's good? How you doing, man? Chilling. Yo, I think I, I think I fucked up, man. I started leading with my money. Mm -hmm. This chick, and um, you know, I'm listening to my boys. I'm I'm in my forties, and I was listening mm -hmm. to my boys, and they they got this philosophy, you know, like a like an agreement with chicks. So, mm -hmm. You know, like the small talk. This is having agreement. Instead of give you a little buck twenty five feet and then be on your way. Mm -hmm. So I was following that lead. My boy, he owns the club in D.C., so I'm like, I got the perfect setup, friend owns the club, I could just roll up in there and be the man, basically, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I was living in New York, and um, I met this chick at my job, and you know the typical shit, she's cutie, but she got no bread, mm -hmm. and every five seconds is like, oh, can you pay me $20, ooh, not, uh, $20 ain't shit, so I was like, yeah, $20, whatever, so I'm supposed to meet up with her tomorrow, and I fucked up and got the hotel room before I caught up with her. And my thing is this, like, all right, if she don't show up, the hotel's a nice hotel, it got a rooftop lab. If she don't show up, I'm just going to say, fuck it, charge her the game and, and, and just try to bag something on my own mm. and just go hard with that. Because I, I really I, I really got, like, bias with rent, you know what I mean? Mm. And, um, Wait, I don't, so and, and, like, I'm a confident fellow with it. Hold, hold on, wait a second. So, so this chick, you gave her twenty dollars to do what? Nah, she's for food. And actually, I've been giving her money over the course of like a, a month. You know a I mean? month? It's did and like, you did you smash this chick? I didn't smash it. Oh man. my like, god! <laughs> what are you doing? So you ain't smash this? How much money you gave this chick over the past month? Uh, cash after, like, the least, 600 Oh, wait, stop. You gave this chick $600 in the past month? Yeah, man. I oh, my, my God, nigga. I gave her a fuck 30 to get a hair and nails done. She's like, oh, I'm going to get real nice and, and catch up with you. And last week, like, I was supposed to catch up with her one time, and I fronted. You know, I'm tired. I got off of work. Then the second time she fronted, she can't get a babysitter. So this is like the third time I'm supposed to catch up with her, and I said, fuck it. My birthday week, give me a hotel room, we catch up with Shorty, because she texted me back and forth. It's another thing, she don't want to talk, she just want to text and send me pictures. Mm. Bad as fuck, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying the game, And so, wait, and hold like, on. I'm and so, she said, she said she going to meet you at this hotel to fuck? I'm going I'm to catch up with her, I'm going to pick her up, and um, we're going to the hotel. When I say... When I tell her, like, yo, we gonna link up, she just know already. She got, like, a kid, she got, like, a little, um, two-month-old kid and shit like that. Mm. I'm from Long Island, so I'm gonna go pick up, and we gonna chill at, um, this spot called Hotel Z mm. in um, Long Island City. Mm. So, you know, but I'm, like, I'm at the age where it's, like, I don't want to come off as a sugar daddy. I'm not a sugar daddy, you know mm. what I'm saying? I'm not paying for your rent and shit like that, but, you know... My man said it's like a pussy bill and shit when I'm paying. He said, it, he said it, it's a pussy bill? <laughs> yeah, it's a pussy bill. Yo. <laughs> Y'all niggas need to keep your money in your pocket, bro. Like, what? Damn, so you, it's only I, been a month and you, you done spent $600 on this chick who you didn't fuck? Yeah, $20 here, $30. Wow, bro. Pathetic, real pathetic, man. Jesus Christ. What is going on, bro? And and what is what has this chick done for you so far? Nothing. 
That's what I'm saying. Conversation. Oh my and goodness. I don't even want the conversation. I'm like, yo, but my, my schedule's so fucked up where it's like I can't really like take off. You know what I mean? So like when I when I do talk to her, but I, I know that she's always hit me up with bread. Like I'm gonna twenty dollars. So I mean, I guess tomorrow's gonna be the moment of the truth whether she catches up with me. Cause I don't mind. Like you know, if you want twenty dollars, you need something to eat or whatever. Here, I know you're not working here. You know, mm-hmm. thank you, people and shit. You know, you ain't asking me for to pay your rent or your life bill and shit like that, you know. But right. it seemed like it's consistent. And shit, man. But don't, bro, you, <laughs> yo, you, you super tricking right now, though, man. Damn, like that's crazy, bro. Like six, because I, I, at first I thought I thought he was gonna say, oh, I, I gave this chick like forty bucks or whatever, nigga, six hundred something dollars. In a month? Yeah, yeah. And you ain't smashed? Yeah, within the cost of the month, though. Wait, so wait, let me ask you. Hold on, let me ask you. Did you got the hotel, right? Yeah. Did you tell her you was getting the hotel? And that, and yeah, that you I, I told her we were chilling the whole night, so I'm assuming that, you know. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta go home. You said, hold on, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. You told her we going to chill the whole night? Yeah, yeah, we chilling. We and, do know, you know? and do what? And what? And what else you told her? I go hoop, uh, whatever. I say have fun. I was real vague. Oh, see, she gone. <laughs> so wait, so hold on. So you gonna pick her up and go straight to the hotel? Yeah, so it's like a hotel slash uh, club on, on the top of the roof and shit. Like, okay. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So you know, and my my thing is this. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this touchy feely. I'm gonna try to, you know, try to build a seduction. You know, you know. See, like I was listening to your um. Program where you like, you know, you gotta build that um that interest with them mm. when, 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 when you know you talk to them and you know what I mean, right? Like touch them and shit while you talk. So I'm gonna do that, and because I've done shit like that before, you know what I'm saying? I just like the hotel room is nice, so I'm like, I don't want to be at the last minute thinking of the Q the end or some shit like that. I want to think of some fly shit, man. Like, uh, but see, this you know the thing, I mean? man. This the thing, you know. <laughs> If she, if you, if you look, this is why it, it, you gotta start out. Is the, they say you start how you finish. So the fact that you started out giving her money, you understand? She's gonna expect that type of shit. You feel what I mean? And yeah. so, so the thing is, is that let's say she, let's say she actually has sex with you, right? <laughs> She's still yeah. gonna expect. Money, you feel what I'm saying? She's still gonna expect you to keep giving her money. So yeah. once once you stop giving her money, right? What's gonna happen is she's gonna fall back. You feel what I'm saying? So so the thing is, you put yourself in a position to where um you gonna have to keep giving her paper in order to keep her. You feel what I'm saying? But this is the thing. I don't really want to keep her. I just want to use as a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? You think so you just want to what? I'm like, a stepping stone. I'm looking at it as a... I'm not... I look at it like this. With the first time I gave her bread, I regret it. I'm not going to be funny. You know what I'm saying? I felt like a crackhead. Like, damn. Right. I took that first day. And now... And I understand. I'm going to have to keep this, keep her interest. Mm. But I, I'm like this. So I get bored quick with a chick. I don't want her to be my girlfriend. I'm pretty sure she got a nigga out there or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just like tricking it real quick to get the pussy. Probably beat a couple of times, and I'm falling back on the bread. And if she falls back on that, I always miss the cop for me. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, I, I don't want to use, I don't want to have that as a habit mm-hmm. of me trying to get a girl. I'm gonna get a girl she me off the strip. That's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. So you 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 just gonna have to take the L with this chick. You feel what I'm saying? If you if you know, hopefully hopefully you get to smash because. It's gonna suck if she come out, y'all hanging out and chilling and all that shit. And then when it come down to fucking, she gonna be like, oh, you know, I don't know about all that. You see what I'm saying? And then and that's, that's what I'm thinking she gonna do to her. Like I'm like, no, this is wrong, but because I know I asked her, um, I was like, yo, you gonna you gonna try to babysit her, right? Yeah. Like last time she was like, we put the kid on, and I didn't go out. I didn't go all out. I was probably like five hundred in the hole and shit last mm. time. So. I just kind of fucked her, I almost stayed off. And then she was like, oh, I had to take um, more babysitter. I had to get my son's, uh, my son's father coming. But, but yo, but yo, this is the thing though, man. It's like, 
she she basically won though because she got you to invest without having to give no pussy. You feel what I'm having to give you no pussy. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. so that's the thing. So at this point, you know, she may be like, yeah, you know, whatever. But she could still smash. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like you don't want to go down this route again, bro. Just you just gotta understand that in this situation, you got it's a L. You feel what I'm saying? That's all it is. Even if you smash, it's an L. You feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> even it, if you right? smash, it's an L. <laughs> so, yo, I, yo, when I first started doing it, I was like, yo, this nigga was talking about no shit. Because right. <laughs> it's like, I'm a member. Right. Like, this is the fucking thing. I'm a member. And I know oh, it. see, I, you I got, bro, you got, nah, you, you can't be no, giving please. them that money, bro. Come on, bro. You can't do that. You yo, can't bro, do I'm that. I'm glad Miles ain't in the room with you because he gets black for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, do not, don't lead with your wallet, bro. Don't lead with your wallet. I'm telling you, next, the next chick you talk to, just straight to the point. Look, let's get this popping. Like all that other extra shit. I don't care how bad she is or nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's six hundred dollars, bro. Come on, man. Like nah. Now, let me ask you this: Can I do that with her? Like, like let's say I pick off and she, she don't front, we go to the spot and mm. shit, and um, cause I already promised this. Another thing, I kind of promised her, like, yeah, I'll take you to the bathroom over. I'll take you shopping or whatever. Oh, and then, like, $50. So, I, I, I said that. So, she won't wait. And then I was like, yo, you got a babysitter, right? And yeah, I'm going to ask mom. I'm going to get my mom to do it. I was like, all right. So, wait, hold on. You're going to get your mom's to babysit her, her, her kid? No, she's going to get her mom's to okay, babysit I'm... her kid. <laughs> so, I got a girl and shit. My mom's looking at me crazy and shit. Like, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. You got a girl? I got a wife and a girl. Nigga, what? Hold on, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yo, wait, stop. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You got a wife and a girl, and you, you fucking with this chick giving her money? Yeah, it's, you know, I'm, I'm tired of my wife and girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <This> <laughs> <nigga> <laughs> <is>. <laughs> Yo. Like, Yo, wait, wait, hold on. But I'm not honest with them like that. So your so your wife and girl don't know nothing about this chick. They don't even know it's nothing about each other. Oh my god, nigga, what is going on, bro? Jesus, yeah, yeah. you you all over the place with this game, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, my. You know, I'm man. I'm, I'm like I said, I, and I got to set up like my brother, people be on the club in DC. So it's like, you know, when I go down there, I met a chick down there, but I'm not trying to go that route with giving up bread and everything. So it's like. You know, I'm just trying to have fun in some of it. This one chick, I was trying to smash for a while. So, you know, when she asked me for like, oh, can you give me $20? I'm like, yeah, no problem. And then just like, 20 there, 30 there. Damn, well, let me ask you do, you. do you, hold on. Do you, do you give your girl and your girlfriend money? Well, I, I pay, I pay, um, yeah, sometimes. My, 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 my wife, she you know, I pay my part of my mortgage and shit. And my girl. Uh, I get a tie, or whatever, four hundred dollars. Damn, nigga, you you balling, my friends. nigga, like Jesus Christ, like you fucking. <laughs> Yo, how you, Jesus Christ, man? I'm not as bad as my boy. My boy gave six fifteen hundred. What's that again? And he, I said my boy gave a chick fifteen hundred. Yo, what are y'all niggas doing? Yo, this chick's ass fucking getting this paper off y'all niggas. Jesus Christ. Oh my I nigga, y'all y'all making me want to be a know. pimp right now. Shit, like y'all niggas just. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but my thing is this: I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. That's why I called you because I'm really, really going to let you know. Like, I'm not trying to go that route. I'm not ugly dude. Bruh, listen, listen. listen. Don't give, listen, stop, listen. Don't, don't give none of these chicks no more money, bro. None, nothing. Don't give them no fucking money. You feel what I'm saying? What about shorty? Huh? Say again. What about shorty? I mean, what about if, shorty, I'm picking L with. Nah, with yeah, especially with her, especially with her. Don't give her a shit. Don't give her well, nothing. She tomorrow, she's definitely dead. She what happened? Tomorrow, I said if she brushed tomorrow, she definitely. I'm not fucking with her. But bruh, you got you got to stop with all this tricking, bro. You don't give these chicks no paper, and and you and you need to you need to tell you you need to tell your 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 girl that you got a girl, bro. You feel what I'm saying, like. Be like, listen. Um, okay, I do that, then I'm really gonna be giving up paper because she's 
No, but this is what I'm saying. You're going to have to tell your wife, be like, listen, um, we got to open this relationship up. You feel what I'm saying? And then it, I'm telling you, because all of this shit is going to bite you in the ass. I'm telling you. Because at some point, I mean, how, how long you been with your girl? I've been, been with my wife for like, shit, over 20 years. So you've been, so been, like you been with your wife for 20 years. You've been with your wife for 20 years. How how long you been with your girlfriend? Like four. Four years? But my girlfriend know about my wife. Okay. Her, like, yeah, we have to get a divorce. And my wife, she kind of like sick of me. And she know I cheat to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? She like, she like old school Jamaican. You right. Know what I'm saying? So she like, she like, you know, sometimes they like, they deal with their man cheating and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't in their face and shit. That's mm. what I was told. You know right. Because I'm American. But See? you know what I mean? I, I'm just waiting for my son to turn 18 and then... You know what I'm saying? We're probably going to do our thing down the line and shit. Yeah. Right. I'm cool with that. And then with my girl, I'm kind of tired of her. So I, I had a question because she got two sons that are like grown. Mm. And she treats them like they'll go out of way for the for kids. Which is, which is understandable. But it'd be like certain shit I don't respect. Mm. And it's like, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of, so when I started fucking with Shorty, I was like, oh, she's young. She's got a little kid, so I ain't got to be in the picture like that. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of like to go on the road with that little sugar daddy shit, mm. and I don't really respect it, because it's like, you know what I'm saying, I ain't get nothing out of it yet, you know what mm. I'm saying? So this, that's, that's why I'm like, this, hopefully this will be the moment of truth. Right. But, the, but I'm still good, you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm out of $600, whatever, but I'm still good, because then I know I'm not going to give her no more bread, mm. you know? Right. Man, this is what I'm telling you, bro. You got to, yo, from this point forward, bro, no more giving these chicks money, you feel what I'm saying? And 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 you gotta you I feel like you gotta uh you gotta talk to your your wife, bro. Let her know. Be like, listen, we've been together for twenty years. Like, we gotta open this shit up. You feel what I'm saying? And then well, and you already know. I probably I probably call you that shit. Like I got divorced, but you know right. What I'm it ain't really nothing. Like I'm not worried about it. It's just right. Like that. Like, man, man, bro, you know, man, you got. <laughs> I like. <laughs> you gotta stop the well, friends, first so thing. I'm stop the good, tricking. Good. That's the first thing you gotta do. Like immediately today, stop the tricking, and then after that, you know, sort of deal with all the other shit that that you're dealing with with your situations, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. What man. about tomorrow? What about tomorrow when I catch up with her? Like you know, what I'm saying I'm like I ain't got no money for hookah. You know, I mean I'm just taking. Well, let me well let me ask. Did you did what did you tell her you were gonna do? Did you specifically say we don't go get hookah and all that other shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get hookah and shit. Okay, so if you, you told, know, I, I think she a little old, so I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna get the ass. And shit, you know well, listen, if you told her you was gonna do it, then you gotta do it and keep keep your word as a man and do it and take that L. But at after tomorrow, if you still fucking with her. No more money, bro. You're done. You feel what I'm saying? Like, cut it off. I don't care if this chick. Right. I don't care if this chick need a quarter to fucking buy a bag of chips. Nothing. Just don't give her no money. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey, bro. I don't know. I had a friend that was like that too, bro, and he was doing that shit, and he was checking on shit, and he had caught a bid. Mm. Now he's crying to me like, yo. Right. You in jail, 